everyone. Thanks for coming. Happy Thursday evening to you all. My goodness, I appreciate you all being here today. Um, who do we have here? Hop in the chat and say hello. I'd love to know. We've got just a fun, wacky, whimsical sale tonight. A lot of small stuff. So if you like the tiny little, as they call them, tiny treasures, then this is probably a good sale for you. Um, I feel like I'm a little off center here, but that's okay. Uh, I hope Gino is going to come down and help. Um, he's upstairs right now, so hopefully he comes down. Hi, Bree. How are you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. My goodness. Um, I feel like summer's just around the corner. And, hi, Jerry. We are just moving right through April so quick. Before you know it, June's going to be here, and we're right on our way. Um, but I have one more day of work and then I have the weekend off. So I always look forward to the weekend because that's my day. But Saturday is my fun day. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Betty. Um, that's when, and garage sale season is back. And that is my jam. I love going to garage sales. Like I would give up a vacation just to go on garage sales. Is that sounds so bad, but I've almost like, it's almost like a, um, treasure hunt for me. I really enjoy it. Um, so I am going out. Hopefully there's garage sales that rained all day today. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, but hopefully Saturday is looking good and we have some garage sales. Hi, artsy fartsy. Hello. Hello. So hopefully you all love tiny stuff because that's what I have today. Um, are just smaller things. I had a big box, you know, like a tray box. I called it like my junk drawer kind of where I would just put all of my tiny stuff. And so I finally gathered stuff up and um, we're gonna see if any of you are interested in it. Now, I did show the cards that I have, that I have tonight. I showed them the last sale. Those are the individual rummy cards um, bridge cards, that kind of thing. So those are still available and all of my regular add-ons are available too. Oh, when you can get a great deal on stuff or they, I think garage sales, people may know and they just don't care and they just want it gone. Like this has been in my garage for, you know, a month. I also hear this was my mom's. I know she paid a lot for them, but I just want them gone. I hear that a lot. Um, so A lot of my big stuff along too, but I cannot pass up vintage books, children's books, um, games like that. I'm just, I love a good graphic, a good illustration. And so whenever I find something cool like that, I, I have to get it. Hence why I have a basement full of stuff. So, um, Brie, you can't get here soon enough, um, for your, your tot, tiny tot whatever it's called, um, little, what is it, little push thing. And I have a baby crib and we have just all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they, or they think that it's funny because sometimes we'll, I'll go to a sale and it, maybe it's a rummage sale or a garage sale, but they will have the items that they think are most valuable, like at this table. And then the stuff that actually is available, like you may find a knee hugger, elf or something, it's a quarter. But this encyclopedia set from Time Life, it's a complete set. We're asking $60 for it. But that little knee hugger, elf, quarter, 50 cents, like, oh my gosh. So, yeah, it's a um, tiny Todd, I forget what it's called, Todd the metal little stroller thing that you can push. It's got the handle on it. So we have that here for you. Somebody was supposed to come by the Victorian buggy. Um, I think he lost my phone number because I never heard from him. His sister wrote our phone number down on the back of a 
deposit slip. And I think that they just lost my number because he was stoked to get this buggy, but I haven't heard from him. Hi, Bust the Move. Um, we still have an antique chest over here. We've got a baby crib. We have a wood chair that looks amazing. We picked up two plan files. You know, the deep flat drawer, they're wood stackable cabinets with the deep plan drawers, perfect for holding ephemera and small items. We have two of those in the garage that have not even been touched. And I've been on Gino to, you know, get those in and just clean them up and get like um, refinishing them if we're going to do that or paint them one of the two. But I would love to get them out of the garage. Um, we have that table, that metal table. It's It looks like it's a uh, Art Deco style. See, I think it's from the 30s or 40s. Um, metal table. We've got a medical adjustable table that goes up and down. So we've got a lot of cool stuff down here. Just too big to ship to you guys, though. So we're doing small stuff today. Easy to ship and some great prices on stuff. Now, if you are new to me, please send me your name address, your YouTube name, and your PayPal email, um, because I will need that to get you an invoice. You have the chairs that match that table. Well, that table is sitting over here full of postcards and um, ephemera. So, and then we have another wood table. It's just, I have different spots down in the basement, packing section, my work area over there, an ephemera station, a craft table. This is my selling area. Little stations. When people come down, they're just like, it's a working basement. Like, I literally don't leave the basement. I work at my normal job over there, and then I come over here and work my fun job. So, I I feel like I should have, like, really pale skin, like, living in the basement. Hi, Susan. Um, but... I, if you did notice, this little dresser right here, it used to be like a teal color. I did paint that um, just because I hated the color. It was um, just like a teal, a bright teal, and it just didn't look right. So I painted it that fun color there. I really like it. Um, kind of just fits right in with the background there. I um, assist people with their accounts when somebody passes away. So I work with deceased accounts. Yeah. So I help people all day long. Um, I like it. Uh, helping, pe you know, people that are, you know, dealing with loss or grief. So that I like, de I like helping people with that. So it's, it's better than my old position that I had, I'm really enjoying this new one. So, and I get weekends off, so good for me. But what I was gonna say is if I have something priced too high, I do take offers, so feel free to give me an offer. Um, and if I can do what I will, if I can't, then I'll let you know. But I do take offers. My email, sweetadeline at awol.com. And Bree, thank you so much for putting that in the chat. I do appreciate it. You can shoot me an email if you see something you like and maybe it didn't sell and then you thought about it and you're like, hey, maybe I want that. You can send me an email. I'll let you know if it's still available. Um, we do our packaging and invoicing on Sundays. So you won't get an invoice until Sunday, but you do have to email me if you want to add on to your order by Saturday because I sometimes I'll peek at my phone Sunday before I come down. Sometimes, sometimes I won't. I'm usually down here pretty early. So if I miss it, that item, you can buy it, but I'll, it'll be on your next shipment. Um, so let's just jump right in. I have a ton of fun items here. A lot of little stuff. Let's start with these guys. These I found when I was with my niece shopping at the Mommy Antique Mall. And I thought they were kind of cute. They are salt and pepper piggies salt and pepper piggies. You know what I just remembered? My my um, keyboard, I left it upstairs. That's okay, we'll, we'll make it work. It is a $5 start. And these are OMC Japan. And I didn't see any damage to these at all. This is the first little piggy you get. 
little black and white one with some spots on them. He does have his sticker and his stopper. Cute little fella here. Um, he measures about four and a half inches long on him. And then his buddy here is the little pink fella. And he has his sticker as well and his stopper. Um, they are marked, it's Odagiri. I guess that's what that means. I said OMC because that's what the sticker says on it, but they are marked on their tummies right there on their bottoms, Odagiri. Um, great, cute little set, especially if you collect piggies. They're cute. You can't really tell it. They're salt and pepper shakers. So if you wanted to use them in your vignettes um, for summer or fall, whatever, on a, on a little hay bale, like you could put this guy sitting up on one and he's kind of looking or a little, do a little uh, bushel of apples, little mini apples, or just a fun little scene. These are fun to incorporate in. And you can also use them as salt and pepper shakers. Hey girl, hey. Jerry, I see you in at five. So get your numbers in if you're interested. All right. I don't know why my screen is just acting up. Let's do this. I am going to do the countdown here. Hopefully, this works. Let's give it a try. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. All right, these little guys are going to Jerry. Thank you so much, Jerry. You're getting little piggies. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. And I never knew that when it said it was going to market, I thought it was actually going shopping. I didn't know that they were going to take it to market. Kind of makes me sad. <laughs> I think I have fixed the issue with my not being able to make people moderators. So, Tammy, I was able to turn you blue. Um, finally, I had to mess with it, but I must have clicked something and it, and it let me do it finally. Good golly. All right, up next, what would you like to see? I have cupcake picks. I have wooden uh, heads that you would craft with. Um, bar stuff, glitter, patches, Disney's, more salt and pepper, Avon pins. I thought he was going shopping too. Let me tell you, Brie. I was a little traumatized when I found out they were taking his butt to market to sell him to somebody to make bacon. It kind of broke my heart a little bit. I am the worst person when it comes to animals being hurt. I can't. Um... I, Cupies, if I had Cupies to sell, my goodness, I was just looking on BAMP today. I have to check knickknacks next, but um, I was looking on BAMP for Cupies, and I'm actually bidding on a Cupie on eBay, and I keep bidding it up, and somebody keeps outbidding me, and I think I'm at like $50 on it. It's this big, and I'm like, do I, do I keep going? There's still four days on it. I think it's a super rare one from Germany. Um, and there is another one listed for like $300. So I have a limit and I didn't tell Gino. So if Gino's watching and you see this, no, you didn't. Um, but I'm gonna wait until it's like gonna, the bid's gonna stop and just see where it is. And if I can bid on it, I will. Do I need another QP? No, but this one is pretty cool. So I'm kind of excited. But I do have a little cutie collection upstairs. These little cuties here I got from Misty. 
um, she was selling them in a vamp sale and I, and I want them. So I'm not quite ready to part with them yet, but, um, I do love, I do love cupies. Now the next items here, these are going to be, Ooh, $6 start for choice. Um, and they are these really cool now this is the she sent me the paper i did um ask if she could just so you could tell what they were they are probably i don't know the age on them i didn't really i think when i tried to find these maybe i couldn't or maybe i didn't even look them up i'm not even sure pocket box candy zoo and they're these little plastic like compacts basically and they came with candy in them she told me do you want me to leave the candy in them i bought them from her from um Instagram. I love her stuff on there. She's got the, the coolest stuff right up my alley. And so I was like, no, just leave the candy in there because it looks really cool. It's just like these little balls. I was like, hmm. well, this candy has been in there for prop like 40, 50 years, I think. And it turned to like, uh, it looked like grape jelly. And I, I was like, why is this stuff? And I went to open it and it was just full of this candy that had melted. And so I just soaked them all and I washed them all. But anyway, we have these pocket box candy zoos and I thought they would be really cute to use in your purse for candy, mints, pills, whatever. There is a little issue with them opening up. So you may have to hold them in front of a blow dryer just to get them to stay um, closed because when I washed them in hot water, I had them open. So they probably just need to be reset to stay closed, if that makes sense. Because if you can see, they kind of pop open. But it's hard. It's plastic. Um, and I have three of each style. I think these are probably, I should have looked up the year on them. The 50s to 70s, I'm guessing. I don't know. They are, they were five cents each brand new. But let me show you the three different varieties I have. I have three of the poodle one. Tell me these are not adorable. Oh, maybe there's a year on the back. There's writing. What well, has the ingredients for the candy on the back? These are made in Germany. So I have three of these poodle ones. Um, some of them do have a little bit of adhesive on the back there, but you can get that off easily. I just was worried about the inside more than the back. Um, this is what the inside looks like. So they will hold pills or mints or whatever you want to put in there and you need something um, for your purse. But super cute. I have three of the poodles in green. I have three of these um, cockatiels in green. And I have three of the deer in yellow. So three of each one, they are $6 each for choice. Um, they measure hmm, just under two and a half inches in diameter. I know they're so cute. And I was like, when are you gonna see these again? Never. I should have looked them up. I, I didn't, but um, these are your three options. Whoops. I thought it was a poodle. That one isn't. You get the poodle, the bird, or the deer. She had some other ones. She had a dog and a, um, something else. Maybe you saw them on Instagram. But I did buy three of each one just because I thought that somebody could use them for it. I'm going to put one, whatever one's left over, if there's any left. I'm going to put one in my purse with mints in it. But super cute. Um, and again, those are $6 each. And they are pocket box candy. Candy Zoo. This is the original box top here for, for them. She must have had a full case of them. Because she did have a bunch of different varieties. So I think I got the cutest ones. <laughs> So I'm going to set these back here if there's no interest or we can come back to them later. Boop.
me grab these out of here. All right. So let's um, take a look at our next item here. I have some fun sewing lots here. Littles, maybe something that you haven't seen for a long time on these. These are $4 each start. And these are vintage elastic supporters. I do have four of them available. This is what they look like here. I don't know if these would have been for your um, nylons or your, what are those called? My garter belts. Um, is that, is that what this is? I have no idea. But anyway, these are elastic supporters. These little things sell for good money. I was like, what the heck? So I do have four of them available. Great graphics on these. They are new old stock elastic supporters by Gemco. This is the front. This is the back. If you do advertising for hose. Okay. That's what I thought. Um, they were 25 cents back in the day. Um, just a fun little item to add. Again, those are $4 each. I'm just going to keep moving along. So if you see something, yes, the hosiery, right? That's what I thought. Brings back some memories of your grandma or your, you know, an aunt or something that had these back in the day. The next item is, this is going to be I know, right? Come on, work for me here. This is a $5 start and you're gonna get everything in this bag. It's just a little lot here of fun sewing items. Everything in this little bag for $5. Um, snapper pack. There's no UPC on this one, so this one's old. And then there's some extra snaps. Here's some more little snaps. We have corsage pins. I don't know what those are. Twist pins. These cool buttons. Look how big they are. I think you cover these in fabric. Um, it gives you the pattern on the back to cut it out. There's those two and then a really big one here. That one's got to be like two and a half inches in diameter. It's it's a whopper. And these are hook, hook and eyes. Junior Salon hook and eye. These are more of the snaps. Their little smooching snaps. And these are hook and eyes, I think. Yeah, I'm upside down. So that sewing lot, you get all of that for $5. I like the corsage, corsage pins. Oh, I just stabbed myself. Maybe I don't like them so much. And this graphic on this is really cute with the little babies. I have another sewing set coming up that has um, one of those in it too. Jerry, I see you at five. Let's go ahead and start the countdown here. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Thank you so much for your bid, Jerry. Those are coming your way. We have lots of fun items, so stick with me here. We're going to get through some of the craft items, and then I'll keep moving back here. Or if you see something you're interested in, let me know. I can bring it up next for you, okay? Um, this little lot here is adorable. This is a little advertising kind of, well, I'll show you. I've had the little items in here for a while just because I like them so much. It's a $7 start and you're going to get everything in this little bag. 
if I can get the bag open. First off, you're going to get this tin, and it is fine line chafers. It is a cool sliding tin. You can see it opens. It does have lead in it, pencil, pencil lead. Um, so a vintage tin here, made in USA, the Schaefer Pen Company. It's upside down. That's the first item. The second item are these little fine line erasers. This is another tin here, sold for 19 cents. And this one slides like this. And see it's open right here and it has little erasers in it my favorite part of this grouping here are the smallest pencils you will ever see in your whole life look at these pencils oh my gosh they are adorable <laughs> i thought they would be kind of cute to group in with this lot because it's pencils and um eraser lot but these are two tiny red pencils they are adorable they measure about three and a half inches long. These came from a vintage game, and I can't even remember what game it was, but you can see how little, little they are. I can't believe these survived all these years. But this is a pencil lot here. You get the, the lead, you get the eraser, uh, both of those tints, and then these vintage fun little pencils for one price. Right. If there's no interest, I'm just going to set those back here. We can always come back to them. <coughs> Pardon me. We are going to just keep moving along here. Up next is a choice. You're going to get choice of these items. Um, $4 start for choice. And these are some vintage advertising sewing items. Got some cool ones here. Um, the first one out is this, the baby gripper ones. You can see it is complete, unopened. Great graphics on this. Love it, they were 29 cents. And then we have these Clinton um, safety pins. Made in the USA. Nothing on the back. Just a little like scribble at the top. Then we have Woolco. Snaps. Very deco looking on this one. And then this Wilco one, I love it. This one is my favorite. I don't know, something about it. And so you have your choice of um, these four things, three different snaps or the safety pins. And they are $4 choice. Ah. We have another choice lot here. If you craft, think chenille pipe cleaners with these, what you can do with them, okay? $4 choice on these. And I have a few different options. These are wood bead made in Taiwan. Um, and they all have a little bit different face, okay? But this is the first slot here. And the face, let me see if I can find, he almost has a little worried face with the eyebrows. He's just like, can you see the face there? There are 18 pieces in here, it says. So vintage little wood beads with the faces on it. This is your choice in this slot, okay? Um, this is the first one we'll call this guy the worry the worry bead if you craft this is going to be a fun lot 
this this one is a little bit bigger you're getting 12 pieces in here um she looks mad on this one not gonna lie she looks pretty mad but she is doing the kissy face on this one see her there and these are made in japan she's got some eyebrows um, I guess you could see her better from this side here. This one you're getting four in here. And they're a little bit bigger. But he has that face, right? A similar face. Um, just a little bit bigger bead. And we have this one here. Actually, I'm going to group these together because there's only three in here. So on the $4 lot, you're going to get these two, which it's the girl. I don't know if these are really coming through. You can see her face right there. And then this one here. That's one lot for $4. This is one lot for $4, and this is one lot for $4 that I've showed you so far. And then the next lot are these three that I'm going to show you. You're getting um, these two. Now picture chenille pipe cleaners with these, and you make the little people, or you can do the beads at Christmas time. But these are my favorite. On those. So those are your three lots. I'm sorry, four lots on the doll heads. And I am going to separate these out. So you get one lot is three, one lot is two, and then the individual ones. If you craft, these are a good thing to have in your collection because it is always fun at Christmas time to make these um, little things. So then these are individual lots. If you have any questions or you're interested, just let me know. We'll figure it out. I need to turn that fan on. I'm starting to get warm. You guys are making me warm. Woo! And then I have this big lot here. These are $6 for this big lot, and they are marked made in japan there's a made in japan sticker in there so this big lot is six dollars on this one six doll hairs hi karen we are just going through all the small stuff here um, watch back if you miss it. I'm going to flip this fan on real quick. Get me some air going because I wore long sleeves, which probably wasn't very smart, but it's hot down here. I need some water. Ah, that felt good. All right. What would you like to see? Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. Hi, Kathy, by the way. We appreciate that. A little bit of a mix-up there, so uh, we appreciate you doing that. Gino felt horrible. I was like, how did you manage to do that? He's like, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It happens, so what can you do? All right. Moving along. I have some really rare little stuff, too. You want to see advertising tins? Okay. Well, the next two pieces that I picked up have advertising. So I'll show these, and then we can go on to tins. Um, here we go. Here we go. This one is a $7 start. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Do you know what this bottle held originally? Look at the blue top there. Can you tell? By just looking at the size of it and the color of the top. Anyone guess on this? It stands almost six inches tall. You recognize that blue lid? Had a good lingo or a good um, marketing, I guess. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Brie, you got it. This is an Elka Seltzer, a vintage Elka Seltzer jar. I did fill it up with little bingo um, wood pieces here, but it is in beautiful condition. Doesn't have the paper label anymore, but I can tell you, we have an Elka Seltzer machine. Um, if Gina was down here, you'd probably go grab it to show it to you. It's over here. But you would put one of these dispensers in the top like this, and you would like move this thing and it would drop the tablet down and then grind it up and drop it into your, your cup for you. So it grinds up the elk sensor. Well, this was in our machine, um, and so we've had it for a long time, but I found him one with a paper label on it, so he updated it. So this was out of our elk seltzer machine. Um, but it is amazing. And I see Jerry in at seven. Yeah, just a fun little uh, piece of advertising here. It'd be really, really cool with actual, you could, um, how, when I bought it, it had pieces of foam cut to look like that. Ah, did you really go? He went and got me a, a cookie from Crumble, you guys. Thank you, Bubba. Give the other half to mom. It won't last long. <laughs> um, so, Alka Satserton, we are going to count this down. That's but you start. could count. Uh, you could cut foam, white foam, and make them look like the tablets in there if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, let's count this down. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right. He is. Hi, Kim. We have fun yet? <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Oops, let me go back to my comments here. Jerry, I didn't see anybody else come in, so that is coming your way. Let me lay that in there. Oh, uh, sure. I would love to. Thank you. All right. Up next is a fun um, set here. Your very own Bob Barker. That's right. How did you, how'd you know? He, he says he sounds like Dr. Phil. No, everybody else said I sound like Dr. Phil. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> this is a $10 start. And for and our right next showcase... Oh gosh. The showcase showdown. Here we go. A ten dollar start here, and you're gonna get everything in the bag. This is a vintage cocktail set here. It's starting out with these um rainbow glittered stir sticks, right? And then in the middle are some cocktail shorty straws. And then my favorite are these rainbow party straws here. Look at them. Would you look at him? Oh, maybe he looks like Dr. Phil and sounds like Bob Barker. <laughs> On the back here, you have a container full of the um, swords and pinwheels, cocktail pinwheels. So you are you have a full set here of straws and um, what are these called? Swords and pinwheels. So really fun lot. I love these rainbow party straws. If you have vintage barware, these are great to put in there. Um, you can also craft with them as well, of course. I love those plastic swords. Who didn't play with those when you were younger? We did get these all from an estate, um, and they had a bar, and I think that's where we got these from. I think the middle one came from a different estate, but yeah. Fun little grouping here. Again, $10 for the whole bag. All right. Advertising. We have some here. Oh, 
I forgot I'm supposed to be doing these trivia questions in between two. I have this little trivia game. Your first question. Oh, Ragdoll Sales, hi. The straws are not paper, they are plastic. And I see you in at 10 on the set and I just love these. And I love the little pinwheels. So get your numbers and if you're interested, we are gonna count this down. I always forget where I need to go to do that. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Ragdoll Sales, <laughs> that is coming your way. Now, I have a trivia question here. Trivia question. What runs around a city but never moves? That's the first trivia question we have tonight. Love this next item. Um, I found this when I was out with my niece thrifting. She thought it was cute too. This is a $6 start. Close, Kim, but no. You're close. You're on the right track. It's this adorable little jar here. I have filled it up with little vintage game pieces inside. No, no, not seeing it yet. Look at the lid. Miami Vice style. Nope, nope. It's kind of a weird answer if I'm being honest because not every city has this. What? We asked this question and the answer is on the back. Jerry, I see you in and it's kind of a, that, that one's kind of weird because my city doesn't have that, right? It is a city wall. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but you gotta put it in behind because we're asking trivia questions. My goodness, Boulevard. I like the answers that I'm seeing better than and the answer that they gave. Um, but look at the lid. This little jar stands about two and a half inches. Let me scoot over here, Gigi. You can get in here. There you go. I figured to give you a break so you could eat your cookie. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I forgot my keyboard, but that's okay. Why? All right. Well, I see Jerry in at six here on the little game jar. Do you need anything to drink? Nope. I have water. I'm good. I can just type it in. Let's go ahead and start the countdown here. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Me either, Bree. I, I was thinking, I was like, wait a minute. I've never, like, are we talking like medieval times? Because maybe they would have, but I've never been to a city where it's all, has a city wall running around it. I don't know. Okay, the next one is what happens four times in every week, twice in every month, and once in every year? This is the question. What happens four times in every week, twice in every month, and once in a year? This is a trick question. No. It's a that one's a trick question. Thank you, Jerry. Mm -hmm. I will put this aside. You put that in there. Nobody bought it. Yeah, Jerry bought it. You oh. put it in the. Um... Oh, I don't know. I'm taking a bite of this cookie. Ah. I saw somebody do a TikTok on it, and one person said it was really good. One person was like, oh, lemon, but I do like lemon. And I got the other ones you wanted to. Mm. The monster and... Mmm, look good. No, I don't know. I'm on a diet. So what we got next? It's like a lemon. Mmm, like um, the crust of a lemon cake and then the topping. Does that make sense? 
Can you put these up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Good job. All right. Every once in a while, I'm bound to zip up right. And she's interested in advertising pieces, and I'm going to grab those for you. She who? Jerry. And if anybody else wants to see anything, just let us know. We will grab it. Mm, lemon tart. Mm -hmm. and did anybody figure out what happens four times in every week, twice in every month, and once in a year? Oh, you're getting thunderstorms. We had rain all day today, but it wasn't really like thunder or anything, I don't think. I heard any anyway. All right. Well, up next, <laughs> one's empty, one has stuff in it. Where's Betty? I don't know what that means. The answer to this question is the letter E. It was a trick question. What happens? Oops. It's going to focus on his face. Anyway. Mm. It was looking for beauty. Oh. She put where, Betty? And I thought, well, what is that? I thought you were saying the answer. <laughs> I'm awake. Really? It's okay. This next item we have here. <laughs> it's like, I don't get that. There we go. Is a $4 start. $4 choice on these. Okay. We have two available. These are vintage Sucrets tins. Um, you want to hold that one up? Okay. So Gino has one here. Mine's full. So he does have something in. I think they are some sort of like a pin or something in there. I looked like a tapestry style pin. And this up. one is mine. You can. I just have them in little plastic sleeves here. Um, so you're going to get choice either mine which is empty it's in really good condition mine which is in good condition okay. has bonus parts let me open yours for you okay what you I got a pair of scissors or something no I don't need scissors there you go We'll just show them. Oh, these are curtains. That's why I said. They're sharp. I think they're just curtain hooks. I don't know if you can see them or not. That's what that looks like to me. Here's some. Maybe that and a few old thumbtacks and a couple other little goodies in here. Yeah. So you get choice on the Secrets tin. Mine is like a gold. This is the back side of it. I'm and then sure Gino's. Are. There's some of these in there, but I don't know what they are. This is Gino's. And it is full of little, like he said, little pins and stuff. We can dump those out if you don't want them. Uh, but these are your two choices on the Sucrets tins. This is and by far the better $4 choice. choice. Oh my gosh. Storming, huh? I hated these things. They would make your tongue numb. Did what? you ever take Secrets? Ugh. I did not like them. And then we have another lot here. This is a $2 start. That's all done already. This is the one you're doing next. Your dad ate those. They were gross. Ugh. Well, you got the job done. I can still like taste it. It was like licking a Band-Aid. It was really nasty. <laughs> $2 start on this next lot. And it is a vintage um, I gotta ask, lead set. What do you know about licking a Band-Aid? You never licked why? a Band-Aid no. before? No. What? You're going to get this crypto tube. Um, those are boxes. And then this little plastic thing. And then there's a metal tube in there and then a cardboard tube uh, i think they do have lead in them should we get the lead out get the lead out jerry's in that too on the lead vintage lead set here 
You want to hold that up and I will start the countdown. And before we do that, we're going to ask the next trivia question. The one who makes it sells it. The one who buys it never uses it. The one that uses it never knows that he's using it. What is it? The one who makes it sells it. The one who buys it never uses it. That's the Amy at three. The one that uses it never knows that he's using it. What is it? Oh, Susan, you are close. You are real close. It is, um, you're very, yes. With I'm glad it's not just me. <laughs> it is a coffin. You got it. I wouldn't have been able to get that one. Just saying. <laughs> All right. So we have a bid with Amy right now on the lead set here for $3. We're going to start that countdown. So if you're interested, get your numbers in. Okay, Gina, we're going to have you count. She did. She knew the end. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. I got to put right. back on comments here. Jerry came in right before the stop. <laughs> Susan said, of course she did. All right. Thank you both for your bids. That is coming to Jerry for four. Now I have tons of vintage cards. We have a lot of cake, uh, cupcake picks, some vintage um, ephemera, huh. advertising. You have favorite riddles? Well, that's pretty cool. There's a bunch more in this box, so stay tuned. We have some vintage light fixtures, too, which Gino picked up. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I picked these up because a certain somebody I know by the name of Jerry was very excited about the last one. They're we right had. here. And this time I found a pair of them. Here, I was going to hand them to you. There you go. I wasn't sure what you wanted to start these at, so I put that. Is that the right price? Sure. Okay. These are a $20 start. You're getting the pair of these. They do have um, some gold detail. They're very deco looking. Yeah. It's one of your favorite riddles. I've never even heard of that one before, but you can see the gold detail on there. Um, and they have their switches down here on the bottom. Yeah, it looks like the gold has been touched up at some point. So if you really didn't like the gold, you could probably just scrub it right off, I would imagine. Hmm. I don't know if it was painted on. Are these or... um, porcelain? Yeah. Okay ceramic whatever yeah and i'm going to tell you our next brittle this one's a good one you ready what has a head a tail is brown and has no legs what do you think those were definitely oh, yeah. in the bathroom <laughs> oh absolutely that's why it's got the little thing to yeah plug your bathroom things in so if you're interested, those are $20 for the set. But it gives away the age by the fact that the slots are both the same. So it's not a it's back before polarized or whatever the heck they called it. He yep. saw those. He was way out in the country. What were you picking up? A... I went out to something. pick up a, a set of Wild Birds Unlimited um a bird feeder pole, their their big pole, and three different feeders. Wild Birds Unlimited, the whole mess, and the lady had them on marketplace for fifty bucks. I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm on that. Kim so. got it. It's a penny, guys. It's a penny. Bree said a fish. Kathy said a razor or a hair dryer. Now I don't know if she was talking about these light fixtures oh. or the riddle. But well, Kim, that, you got that it. Could be. You got it. We can set those just on that out of the way there boy i thought for sure I he did he's like get that. oh i picked these up i know jerry will love these <laughs> so if anybody's interested just let us know 
we're going to keep moving along. And if there's something you're interested in, oh, you're talking about the light fixture. Okay. Just let us know and we can pull it up for you. Okay. We have a really cool little milk glass advertising piece here. They do kind of smell like Brill Cream and Chanel number five. Stop it. Here you go. This is up next. I'm getting you set up here. It's a $4 start. All right. Next we have Carter's White Ink. Shake well before using. Beautiful little jar. Labels in great shape. Oh, and lid comes off. And I would say the dried up item in the bottom is ancient ink. Four dollar start. This guy is only two inches tall. The little one. Two dollars for the Carter's white ink jar with lid and some old dried out ink. Maybe if you put water and shook it up, the ink will be good enough. Kathy Again. said, are the poles for the Martins, can they be bent down? The poles for the Martins? The bird feeder. No, no, it's not a Martin feeder at all. We had a Martin feeder here that she picked mm -hmm. up last year. We just sold it over the winter. On Marketplace. To a guy over in Indiana somewhere who has a lake house that they have tons of purple Martins, so. It was his wife's Christmas gift. Yep. Anyhow, Carter's White Ink. Last chance, kids. I guess they've never seen one of these, mm. but it's pretty cool. It's glass. Our next trivia question. What starts with a T, ends with a T, and has T in it? Don't answer that. These are our next item. Don't, don't you ruin it. I know he's thinking. Yes, Susan got it. It's a teapot. It's a teapot. <laughs> oh, anybody. That one. <laughs> I didn't want to take all the glory, so. Sure. This is a $5 start on this one. Okay. These guys are. Three, you were close. Five inches tall. On the first one. <laughs> we have Salty and Peppy. Peppy? Salty? Peppy? <laughs> I like their little facial expressions and they yep. were they weren't very worn. Like the color on them are really good. Yeah. Um and these are you take the lid off to fill them. Yeah, it's got great color on them. If you collect salt and pepper and you don't have a salty and a peppy in your collection yet, this would be yeah. the time to get them. And they're the bigger ones. Yep. They're cute. They're about five inches. I see Susan in at five. All salty. Right. Salty. We are going to start the countdown. So if you puppy, are interested, puppy. get your numbers in. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. I can't do the split screen thing. <laughs> I know it's kind of hard to figure out where you are. Susan, you got them. Thank you so much. All right, there those go. Salty Peppy are coming your way. This next item, I actually have about five boxes of these. So I have, I can't say five, maybe for sure four of these. They are new old stock, probably from, oh yeah, perfect with your old cookbook. Yeah, that will look nice. And these are $8. Start. These are new old stock. We were, when we were out in California, we went into this little antique mall. We out 
in Sebastopol. You remember where that was? Yep. And um, this guy had these stacked up by the register. And I asked him, and we bought all of them that he had. He said that he bought them from an old pharmacy or store that went out of business. Um, and he bought them, and it, he had had them for a while. They are Mickey Mouse Cufflinks. They are in great shape. They all come in a different colored box. I have yellow, I have red, and I have black, I believe, the colors. But you can see they were $5 originally at Links, Sea Links, Sea Links. That was the name of the store, but they all, what are you doing? He just has to mess with it, right? They might glow. No, I don't think so. They're new old stock, um, probably from the 80s. No glow, yeah. no glow, no sorry. Are you talking about those? Maybe she's talking about my spunky personality. All right, here's the next trivia question while you think about those cufflinks. Say my name and I disappear. What am I? Say my name and I disappear. What am I? An employee about to leave for the weekend. <laughs> no, that's an employee when you, when you need something. I disappear. I'm gone. Say my name. Say my name. Oh, Bree, you got it. I didn't think anybody was going to get that one. Bree got it. Yeah, Bree, she's pretty smart. She's she's a fart smeller. <laughs> you said that before. Get it? A smart faller or a fart smeller? No. Beetlejuice. Oh yeah, Beetlejuice is a good one. <laughs> Channeling Kim. <laughs> hey, as long as Kim's okay with it, why not? <laughs> All right, we have a little plushie here. He's super cute. This is a um, Boyd Bear. There you go. It's a Boyd Bear. I did buy a few from the sale. They had about 500 bears, and I handpicked, I think, four of them. Um, and this is one of them here. He is He's a, about eight inches tall. He's a $6 start here. Um, cute for your summer displays. If you do a, ba a baseball theme, um, I believe I have him because I used to collect Boyd Bears. I have him already, and there was a blue one as well, and I have them both in a tote somewhere in this basement. Uh, um, so take a good look at this. We'll probably never find that one again. <laughs> he's good so Lord. cute, and his little hat does flip up if you want. Um, he's Howdy. so cute. A little baseball bear, cute you in your biscuits beignets. And gravy, you got biscuits and gravy? Just saying. Okay, so here's your next trivia question while you take a look at this cute little Boyd bear. What buttons does he have on the front? Are they little? Oh, they mm -hmm. kind of look like Bakelite a little bit, but they're plastic. Um, forward, I'm heavy, but backwards, I'm not. What am I? Forward, I'm heavy, but backwards, I'm not. What am I? Oh, I know the answer. I just saw it. You saw it. No cheating. All right. Sorry, dude. You're going back in the box. Rude. Nobody wants you. Rude, rude, rude. All right. We're just going to keep grabbing stuff from back here. You let me know if you're interested in something. You can always go back and go over it again. I'm just going to start putting stuff in front of Gino here. Hey. Gino Bino. Wheelbarrow. Nope. It has to do with a measure of weight. You don't tell them that, for goodness sakes. They have, they can't, you can't cheat. Spell not backwards. Come on. Susan got it. It's ton. I forward I'm heavy, but backwards I'm not. Get it backwards, it spells not. <laughs> what am I? All right, next we have a lovely tin, Purity Adhesive Tape by Bauer & Black, division of the Kendall Company, Chicago. <laughs> What's the start on it? $6. Thank you, Gino. $6 start here. 
vintage um, purity adhesive tape. Um, I had it sitting like that, and then I had put something on top of it, and it looked really cute for your and displays. For those that are wondering, yes, it still has tape in it. Yep. I don't know if it's any good, but no doubt it's been in there for a long time. Next trivia question. I'm full of holes, yet I'm full of water. What am I? I'm full of holes, yet I'm full of water. What am I? It's a nice tin, for sure. Um, is it black and red, or is it blue? Where do you see black The writing. Blue? It's green. Yeah, I would go with green. Yep, so good for Christmas, too, because it's green and red, so you can add that right into your vignettes. Um, perfect to use. You could put a little bottle brush tray on top. Um, makes a cute little riser. All right. <laughs> yes, you got it, Susan. It's a sponge. You got it. All right. Up next. Up next, we have, you wouldn't believe how much these sell for. When I looked them up, and I think one of them is, is rare because I couldn't find one this one for sale. It's um, $8 start for choice. And I have four different ones available here. These are going to bring back some memories for you. I know it. First one we have is this one here. And Gino probably has no idea what this is. Do you know what this is? Nope. Looks like a mouse with big ears and pink It's a skin. mouse. Um, do you know who made this? I'm guessing Avon. Avon made it. You saw the back. But do you know what it does? What secret it holds? Yeah, it's got perfume in it. It did. Yeah. So you would open it like this, and it would have perfume inside. You can still smell it a little bit. So this is the green mouse here. This is the back. Lip gloss, perfume. The ones that I'm familiar with, this is a fragrance one. Um, and so this is the mouse. And this is a great price on them. Yeah. If you look at sold comps on eBay, they do sell for quite a bit. Um, the next one we have here is the bunny rabbit. And people do collect these. 1973 on this one. Oh, here comes Tammy. 1973. And this one opens right here it even has a little loop where you could wear it as a necklace the mouse doesn't have that but this bunny does well, it's got a pin yep that they're pins yes right but this one has a loop too where you can put it on a necklace you just hang a string around his neck and wear it you still have your bunny and then we have this other bunny here this one's 1970 1974 on this one and this is the roller skating one look at him her boop, 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 boop. so this is the back and this one opens right here this is the roller I can't skate those would be for perfume though yeah they are and then this one is from 1975. Using that backwards. Whatever. 1975 <laughs> on this one. This one I couldn't find. I don't know how rare it is, but it could be pretty rare. It's the kangaroo with the baby. Boop, boop, boop. Kind of wiggles in the front. And this one opens right here in the back. So you get choice. You want to hold up those two. Choice of um, roller skating bunny, kangaroo, mouse, or the um, Easter bunny, we'll call it. And I see Tammy in at eight. So we're going to go ahead and start the countdown here. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop.
All right. I didn't see anybody else come in. Tammy, you get first dibs. What do you, which ones are ones, which one or ones would you like? We have Easter Bunny, Roller Skating Bunny, Kangaroo, and Mouse. Inquiring minds would like to know. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Or do you want all of them? That's the question. Better hurry up giving a cookie in there. <laughs> you doing the next trivia? Yeah. Make it an easy one because some of them are really weird. You want the mouse and the kangaroo. Okay. Kangaroo yep, you can just message me and let me know where to send the mouse. Okay. All right. I am a word of five letters and people eat me. If you remove the first letter, I become a form of energy. Remove the first two and I'm and I needed to live. Scramble last three and you can drink me. What am I? What? The kangaroo is cute for sure. I like all of them. If anybody's interested in the bunnies, just let me know. Um, both bunnies are still available. Can you put that in the mm -hmm. bin? She said wine. Nope. Nope. Of course she would say wine. All right, we'll set those there. I am a word of five letters five letters and people eat me if you remove the first letter i become a form of energy remove the first two and i needed to live scramble last three and you can drink me what am i a five letter word she said wine i want it to be wine that's it she just she needs it to be wine no, you can't add an S. This isn't a school essay. <laughs> I just add extra letters and words that I don't know in there, so I get it. Book reports. I hated book reports. I couldn't add enough. She said, I only heard drink me. <laughs> I couldn't add enough words to them damn things. All right. Um. So while you work on that um, trivia well, question any there. More, any more guesses? I'm going to start with, she said wheat. Yep. Somebody's Googling in the background. No, she would never. Yeah, I would if I was I her. didn't know what that was. <laughs> I would definitely be Googling it. Mm -hmm. I look like the rocket scientist. I'm not. Up next, we have a 1960s Cinderella cupcake topper made in Hong Kong. Um, $10 start. I'm gonna take it out of the package and show you what it, what it, what it um, has. What it has. Next one, I have rivers without water, forests without trees, mountains without rocks, towns without houses. What am I? Oh, her husband helped. This is the first piece of it here, and these little green things are actually the mice. So I'm not sure how those go on there, but they are hooked. Um, and this is the little buggy. It's in beautiful condition. It is marked Hong Kong along the plastic here. Can you put your hand out for me, bub? And raise it up. That's the first piece there. And then you are going to get the little, I don't know. I think he's the prince, Prince Charming. You talking about me or that thing? Here he is. He's Prince Charming. Again, this is from the 1960s. And then you have the fairy godmother. And then you have Miss Cinderella herself. And this is vintage cupcake uh, topper from the 1960s, made in Hong Kong, a $10 start. Where's the door set? That's the wrong, that's the wrong one. You're thinking Snow White. This yes. is Cinderella. Oh, I thought they were all the same. No. Very all cool right. primary colors. 
um, a great little set here. I have rivers without water, forests without trees, mountains without rocks, towns without houses. What am I? The answer is only three letters. Where did my paper go? Oh, it's in there. Forget it. It's in the bag with the stuff. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. No guesses at all? They're giving up. It's, okay. it's Pam, spelled backwards. $5 start on this next item. These are vintage bunny diaper pins. Vintage bunny diaper pins. You're going to get four in the lot here. Two. <laughs> Wine. Uh-huh. Two of the white ones. And two yellow. Two yellow bunnies. So four total. I remember those. I still have scars on my butt from when I was a kid. My mom was practicing. Of the bunny um, diaper pins in yellow and white. It's so hard for me to get towards the camera. They are super cute. Oh, that's I do because remember. because this is what everybody sees. It's this big red thing with your face on top of it. What? Yeah, I was watching on TV upstairs. And say you might want to move it down a little bit. Oh, move this down? Yeah, well, you yeah. see, this is what you see on TV. Your banner and your face. Okay. It could be worse, I guess. Mm. Diaper pins, a set of four, $5. Okay. The answer was map. Map. Not wine. It wasn't a map of wineries. It was just a map map. That was a hard one, Bubba. How are we supposed to know that? Do you want to drop that down or I will? You go ahead and show that next time, but you're going to have to scoot in. And I got my jammies on, so ignore my jammy pants. Nice. All right, so I'm going to drop you down a bit here. All right, this next one is a $3 start. Let me go with $3 start. How's that? It's a Holiday Inn ashtray. It's actually in really good shape. These things are usually chipped up and chunked out, but for three bucks, you can't go wrong. Holiday Inn ashtray. Holiday Inn? Yep. Buy there Maybe. it is. Three dollars. Maybe. And you could have a piece of history. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. All right. Well, yeah, usually these are busted out on the corners and everything it's else. It's in good condition, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Either this one was never used or was used very lightly. Yep. Holiday mm -hmm. Inn. Did you just burp? Say excuse me. Excuse me. Here, I'll take that. What? So it doesn't end up on the floor. Map to wines wouldn't be bad. You got that right. All right, we have a $2 start here. Hey, if you're going out to Napa, invite us to go along. We know the valley pretty good. And Sonoma Valley, too. It is vintage game pieces. You're going to get this little bag full of them here. There's some really cool ones in there. I love the moon. Um, you got some vintage bingo pieces in there. Just a fun little set here. If you craft with them or if you have a junk jar you want to add them to. I really like the, the moon face on um, the Napa wine train. <laughs> yes. We've been on that many times. My daughter worked there for 12 or 13 years for the wine train. So mm -hmm. that was right around it. the corner from where we lived out yep. there. It would take you up Valley. Um, usually unless you were in the dome, which is the dome car. Um, was the most expensive and if you yeah. rode in the dome car you could stay on that train and not move seats if you were in any other one you had to um any other car you would either when you were on your way up you would do wine or cocktails and then on the way back you would have your dinner so you would switch and then whoever 
Oh. You know, they would just switch. Um, but if you were in the dome car, you never had to. Oh, we were there for 21 years. <laughs> so. I see. Free in it, too. I had my fill of it. <coughs> I'm going to tickle my Nice throat. place to visit. Let's start the countdown. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Bree, you got the game pieces. Thank you so much. Oh. We have this weird, wacky. Weird and wacky. That's our stuff. Here it is. It's a rubber family. A rubber family. It's a four dollar start. Ooh, those are rubber. Yeah, they're rubber. Vintage rubber family. You have the dad. He looks kind of. Looks like he needs some new clothes. Laying on a couch or a recliner. Then you have mom. Ooh, her skirt. Lady. And then you have their daughter. And these are, they are marked. They have a mark here on them. Let me see if I can figure out what it says. It says Hong Kong. Oh, it smells like plastic. Yes. Yeah. They do smell like plastic. These are Hong Kong. This is a rubber Hong Kong family. He's smacking her on the tushy. Um, mom, dad, and child here. Oh. Dad is not cooperating. These are Hong Kong. Well, the bid is with Tammy for four. Yep. I see Tammy in first at four and then Jerry behind. I do have a plastic smell to them. Smell like old smell. rubber. Ugh. You smell it? Mom's head almost went up Gino's nostril. She's got creepy blue eyes. No, oh, you can kind of see him there. The kid, she's the normal one out of the group. Hey, be nice, Bree. And dad, well, dad's had a rough day. Look at him. Look at his face. He's you know what? Creepy. I don't think it was a bad day at work. I think it was a rough commute home. Is that what it is? So I used to come home from work like this every day when we lived out there. <laughs> this is the creepy rubber family. And I see Tammy in at four. We are going to start the countdown. So if you're interested in these, get your numbers in. Let's start that countdown. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. I got it. All right, who got those? I see Tammy. Tammy got those. You're getting the creepy rubber family. Creepy. This next thing we picked up, I think Lori Ann picked it up at somebody that actually collected these, which answers the proverbial question. Somebody somewhere collects what you're selling. This is because I was dumbfounded to find out the person actually collected these. Yeah. This is a ten dollar start. It is a pocket protector. Reams home style frozen egg noodles, the original frozen noodle. This guy had just frozen all kinds of noodles. oddball and unusual pocket protectors. So this is the one we got because well it's got at, an egg noodle man. Look at it. the noodle guy. The noodle guy. Hey, what's happening? Just like that. It looks like he's spitting out the noodles. Might be. Ooh, ten dollars. We'll pack it carefully if you buy it. <laughs> I would say all these dads are, collect those. That's right. These are not used. This is not uh -huh. used. There's no way it's in. I bought that from an estate sale, and he yeah. had a collection of them. Yeah. 
I remember. I'm like, he had what? He's like, he had a collection of pocket protectors. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. A nerd convention. <laughs> I guess. Gino has a collection. Of nerds? Pocket protectors. No, I don't. Polyester suit and horn rim glasses. For a guy? Yeah. <coughs> Guys didn't wear horn rim glasses. Yeah, they did. That was girls. Mm -mm. All right. It's your last chance to own a piece of history. And think how how much respect you would get if you put this in your pocket and wore it out to the store. Maybe out to dinner uh, or something. Artsy Fartsy said, now nah, I want some noodles. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'll put that All back right. here. Well. All right. Up next, we've got... Just in time for Halloween. Thanks, Danny. You're a real pal. <laughs> in time for Halloween. Yeah, if you're going to dress up like a cop for Halloween, we got you a patch here. $2 for choice on these police patches. All right. We have the Dayton Police Department, evidently in Virginia. I, I thought it was Dayton, Ohio. Does it say Virginia? It does say Virginia. And these are vintage patches. Ottawa Hills. That's local. Well, we think it is, but there may be another Ottawa Hills somewhere. Oh, maybe. Attica Police Department. Seems like I remember some... Is that pri a prison? Prison stuff back in the day. Yeah. Attica sounds like a prison. Like and last but not least, Fayette, Ohio Police. These are brand new unused patches. Well, I don't know if they were used or not. No, you can tell they're not used. If they were used, they would have been on something that got washed regularly. And these yeah. look like brand new to me. Vintage patches here, police patches. Um, if you have an old jacket or jean jacket or something, these are... Attica is a prison. That's what I thought. Well, they have a police department. It's in New York, as I recall. Oh, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Vintage police patches, $2 for choice. We're going to keep moving along I here. Hear, I hear mom in the kitchen. I wonder if she found the rest of the crumble cookies. Oh, you think? Are you went up to shock on her? I bought a six pack of cup cookies, so. This is a $7 start. This is very unusual. It's only 9.30. Okay. It is made of, I think I'll these are right. burrs, right? Yeah. I think they're burrs. Like burrs. 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 You're using it backwards. Uh, they're not burrs. This is some kind of uh, like pine cone thing. It's a seed pod thing. Yeah, it's a burr. Uh, okay. Right? I don't think so. But okay. It's some sort of vegetation. And they made it into a poodle with a little kissy mouth. And look at the little tail with a little bow on it. It is so cute. Called a burr, right? Oh, it was a burr. A little black poodle. It has a rhinestone collar. This little guy measures. About two and a half inches, two and a half inches long for the cute little kissy face poodle. Unless that red is his nose. You know what? The red, I think, is his nose because otherwise it would just be weird. Um, but you can see the little rhinestone collar they made. They got a little bow that they put. So this, when I bought this, I did not know it was made out of burrs. I just, you know how when you're at an estate sale and you're grabbing stuff, you got 20 people behind you. And so you're just grabbing stuff, putting it in your bag or your little box. And I had no idea that this was homemade. It's just, oh, thank you. But I thought it was really cute. It's a homemade black little poodle made out of burrs. When are you going to find another one? Never, never, ever. All right, we are moving along here, and then we'll go over to the smalls. I have most of the cupcake picks over here. 
once we get through all of this. Up next, we have a $5 start. Again, if you see something that has already passed by, you can, you can tell me or you can send me an email. I do take offers on stuff, okay? Um, when I can do it, I will do it. Up next, $5 start. It's a vintage uh, safety pin baby rattle. Well, let me take it out. I thought I was being efficient by putting them all in these little plastic bags, but really, thank you, Brie, for that. A little baby rattle here. This measures about four and a half inches. This, I believe, came in a box with some vintage clothing, and this was in with it. From what I can remember, I've had this for a while. Um, a lot of my smalls, whenever I got them, I was just throwing them in a, in a um, box. And so a lot of the stuff that you're seeing today came out of that, that box. And this rattle was one of them. Super cute. Um, I remember these from my childhood. So they're not that old but it is double-sided. Hi, Gabby. I'm gonna be doing some cupcake picks coming up and that's right up your alley, I think. And some of them are pretty rare. I've never, like I wasn't able to find them, so I'm not sure the value on them. So I was just kind of guessing on some of them. Um, but yeah, vintage baby rattle, $5. Then we have some vintage Tootsie toy ships here. You're gonna get a set of two for a $4 start. These are Tootsie toys made in the USA. The first one is this metal long one here and you can see it does have the roller on the bottom. It does have its Tootsie toy mark made in America, I believe. This one measures about four inches. Hi from sunny California. Um, it's supposed to roll. I don't know if it does or if the tires need to be like oil or the tires, but I didn't want to mess with it too much here. I don't know if it was supposed to have a flag or something that goes in the hole. Hi Libby. How are you doing? So that's the first Tootsie to Toy, Tootsie Toy, or Beth. <laughs> and then we have this green one here. So you're going to get both ships one price. How's it going? Long time no see. Oh, you turned the air on today? My gosh. Brie, it, I had the heater going, a blanket on, and a heating pad sitting in this basement today. It was cold. Um, so the set of Tootsie Toy chips, $4. What? Gabby, my goodness. You are too nice. Thank you. That's the sweetest thing I've heard all day. I'm going to start getting teary-eyed, for goodness sakes. I've worked, I've been at work all day. I kind of feel like <laughs> so tired. Um, so up next here, we have a $4 start. This is a vintage train set, plastic. Yes. I don't recognize when you have your name like that, though. I recognize it a different way. But Gino, here he comes. This is a vintage plastic um, train. I don't know if it was used for cupcakes, um, but you can see it's, this is the, um, you brought me a Coke? My gosh, trying to sugar me up. What is this called, an engine, right? Uh -huh. I think, I don't know if I checked these if they were That's marked. A caboose. This one. Probably for cupcakes or something like that, I'm guessing. Very little. And then this is the little caboose. Beth is in here. 
I don't see any markings on these, but these are probably Japan, I would guess. Um, and it's $4 for the vintage train set. Oh. I just dropped it. Sorry. Sorry. Right. I had to figure out which Beth you were talking about. It does that. hook together. Ah, uh, Beth. It does hook together here. So you can string it along on a little cupcake um, if you wanted to. But then again. <gasps> Look what she just put for you, Baba. I know. You know, uh, thank you for asking, Gabby. Um, she is getting better. Um, she's walking without a walker. She's about to be discharged from in-home care. Uh, we're hoping that they will prescribe or order outpatient rehab as she continues to need to get stronger. Um, but we're, you know, she's going to be 89 years old and, and we're, we're dealing with some other issues that aren't necessarily physical. But for the most part, she's doing fine. Thank you for asking. Yeah. All right, she actually she came has... out on the porch by herself and watched me uh, working on the flowers the other day, so... We got a pencil ball, a pencil ball. She wants four pencil, four pencil pulls, or just four Ooh, pencils. Ninety-five, holy cow! And he looks amazing. Who? Her dad. How do you know what her dad looks? Because like? I saw pictures of him on social media, and he looks amazing. Um, I am so I still have a heating pad on my on my back because hey, that worked today. Thirty years from now. I hope I still look amazing. Four pulls. Okay. So you want 16 pencils? Thank you, Baba. Here, I'll do this. You I'll hold it. Nope, nope, no, nope. No, I'm holding it. I'm You're picking holding it. it. I'm holding it. I'll pick your nose here. I want you to pick it. He is very handsome. All well, right. Thank you. Don't do her wrong. No, no. Come on. I'm trying not to. Pick a good one. Come on, no pressure. That one's got a point on it. We'll do better. Come on. Dig deep. Mix it up a bit. They're all the same length. How can I dig deep? No, they're not all the same length. Yes, they are. They're standard pencil length. Uh-oh. Yeah. What are you doing? There's four, eight. Well, oh boy. Now remember, you get four free repulls. Thirteen. Fourteen. Mix it up. I'm mixing. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That's local. Is that? 4, 8, 12, 16, yes. Okay. Artsy fartsy's going to sleep. All right. So you get four repulls. Now I will tell you, he did pull some regular pencils here. So you may want some repulls. However, you got NASA. Oh, that's cool, Beth. I know you go up to Sacramento all the time and see him, as I recall. You got an Office Max Blue. A nice pastelli one. Space Center Houston. This is a NASA one space from the Space Center Houston. You said that. It Happy Easter one. It looks vintage. You know. We have Brotherhood Mutual Insurance. That has been sharpened. And we have Life Flight, which used to be a medical place, uh, the Life Flight helicopter here. It's no longer in business. They, got, they got bought out. They didn't crash. Prairie Farms Dairy, a dairy pencil. Sharpen your skills with environmental education, epa.gov. National Space Grant College and Fellowship, 
Um, so another NASA pencil. You got like go a little, into a little pocket of NASA pencils there. Carter Lumber, which is a local lumber company here that's been around for a very long time. They um, still have one store open, I believe. Yeah. Very nice lumber pencil. We have two of the classic natural wood pencils. And then three yellows. So you get four repulls if you want. Um, let me know if you'd like any of them repulled. Like these. She might like the yellow Maybe ones. Maybe you do. Paper mate. They're paper mate. And a staples. Two are pa You want to keep them all. Okay. Wow. Are you sure, Gabby? <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. If anybody wants a pencil pull, um, it's a quarter of a pencil. You get four pencils for a dollar. Just a fun thing that we do. Yeah. And there are some vintage pencils in there. It's a mix of old and new. We kept running into them at estate sales and garage we sales. We bought a whole big thing of them at a, um, on the 127. On the 127 sale. And we put year. them in the can and we just do them for fun. Well, and ever since then, every time you find a handful of them, we just pick them up because people typically don't want them. So. But one pencil in there does have $10 off your shipping. And nobody's pulled that one yet. Uh, by nobody, I, I presume you're referring to me. I am. I definitely am. All right, that goes in there. Tammy wants a dollar pencil pool, so four pencils. Hey, Beth, the pool four turned pencils. out great. I saw pictures of it last year, and man, what a difference. And somebody mentioned that the Your can back there is awesome. The um, can that the pencils are in, this is just from World Market. They sold um, peanuts in a can. And we ate the peanuts, and then we uh, kept the can, and it came in perfect to do pencil pulls. So you can probably still get this at um, World Market. Okay, you want to pull four for Miss Tammy? Let's see if I can find some yellow ones. Come on. Dig deep. Ooh. Cupid pencils. <laughs> yeah. Come on. There you go. Well, you didn't get any normal ones. You got a Happy Easter pencil. This one is Nash, National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. And then we have the OOTC made um, it's like a vintage heart pencil with hearts on it. Reminds me of like my school days. And an Americana one here. The red, white, and blue. With a blue eraser. With a blue eraser. Those are your pencils. Do you get a repull? Do you want to repull any of them? Or do you want to keep them all? Yeah. You let me know. You know, Beth. Zippy I, chip pencils. I keep yeah. seeing you talking about. Uh, you guys move it into a, like a 55 plus center. Now that you got the house all done, you're going to sell it and move? <laughs> well, you can repull one, Tammy, if you want, or you can keep the ones you got. We're going to have to replenish this soon. Get you loose in there. And Beth, you remember our yard out in California, right? The uh, person we sold it to basically stripped the entire yard hill. Every bit of vegetation in the yard is gone. Every bit of it. There's nothing but clay, rocks, and concrete. So, kind of bugged my neighbor. He finally sent me a picture, and I kind of wish he hadn't. But, oh well. It's not my problem anymore. All right, Tammy, you let me know if you want to repull. I'm going to set them over here for now, okay? Oh, she said cool beans. That must be All good. All right, you're good. If anybody else wants a pencil pull, just put it in the chat. I'm going to finish up with this stuff, and then we're going to move on to the cupcake picks, unless somebody wants to see the cupcake picks we have cupcakes. now. We had so many fruit trees in that backyard and flowers, old, yeah. old plants like the jade tree and the I sago had, palm. I had a jade tree that was probably 60 or 70 years old. Um the, the trunk on it was about 8 to 10 inches in diameter. And yeah, it's pretty it sat bad. in a half a wine barrel. 
um, when the wine barrel was set on the ground, the top of the, the tree was about seven foot tall and about seven foot in diameter. And it turned a beautiful pink around Christmas time every year because it would bloom thousands of flowers. And sago palm, I had a beautiful double headed sago palm and a half a wine cask barrel. Um, I had a full size fuchsia, like seven foot tall, purple and pink. Okay, so and that's a, it is what it is. I'll look out the window. It's okay. Um, up next, we have these vintage clothespins. One of them has a little face on it there. So, and I think they were maybe the other ones did have faces on them, but um, some of them have rubbed up. You can see that one has an eyeball there, but you could certainly put the faces back on. You can see just one has a face, but you do get five and they are painted red. They're really, really cute. Um, and you get the whole set for a $4 start. $4 start on the vintage clothes pins here. Now they do look similar. Can you hold that for me? Uh -huh. I showed these earlier. They didn't sell, but I have a bunch of these beads with the faces painted on them. A bunch of different lots of these. These are from Japan. They're great to craft with. And if you use um, the Chanel pipe cleaners to craft, you can make the little people, but it reminds me of their faces. Gabby's there. in it for. Oh, Gabby's in it for. <clears throat> So I think they all had faces at one time. Um, I can show those to you next, Gabby, if you're interested. Uh, I think oh, these. I had lots of them, $4, and then that big bag was $6. But I can show them to you and show you the different, because they do have different faces on them. We're going to count these down real quick. So let's go ahead and start the countdown here. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Stop. All right, Gabby, you got the vintage clothes pins. Thank you very much. Should we run through these heads again? Yeah, so I have them in lots. That one is $6, the one that Gino has. You want to put that in the bin? You get, I don't know how many are in here, but there's quite a few and they are marked made in Japan. This is a whole bag. You can see her face. They're all, the faces are the same. She's kind of like got a little smoochy face with the eyebrows. This one is $6 for this bag here. There's quite a few in here. I would say. And they're a smaller bead. Probably 40 yeah. to 50 maybe. I don't That's know. Just a guess. Don't we'll hold me to it, but. And, <clears throat> then, the whole bag here. and then we had this lot here was four dollars and you get three different styles of heads and some of them are a little bit bigger my favorite are these little faces with the little pink cheeks and these are four dollars for the lot um no more clothes pins or spools right now i do have spools but nothing right now well, tell Scott we said hi, but if anyone's interested in seeing the, the heads, they are sitting here and they are available. Hey, Scott. Um, where did my little spirit go? Up next, this is an $8 start. And these are vintage glitter containers, glamour glitter. Glamour glitter, sprinkle glitter, and then glitter glitter. <laughs> so vintage glitter containers you want, here. Do you want both of them, Gabby? The big ones and the little ones? I have a few different lots of them. So oh, let me more here. Yeah, let me show them to you so you can know which ones you want, okay? So, those so two. okay. Where's the big one? Oh, it's this one. So we have the big yeah. lot for six dollars yes and then we have which the one you showed her three other lots this one's got some bigger heads in it you get this lot for four dollars then you get the cutesy ones with the little pink cheeks this lot is four dollars and then this lot is four dollars so if you want them all 
It's 18 bucks for all of them if you're interested in the whole lot of heads. Just let me know. Then we'll group them all together. Good. Okay, Gabby, you got it. I'm trying to think of what it was he made. I think the last time we ordered eight, he made something that was awesome. I'm going to list them all, um, all together. Did you want the $6 lot too or no? If you want just the four dollar ones i can do that do you want the the bag of mini heads or just the four dollar ones i've got all the four dollar ones in here for twelve dollars okay just the four dollar lots you got it well these um this lot is still available if there's any interest but the specialty lots are all going to gabby then um, let me put a tag in there. I'm just going to list them all together for 12. Okay. There you go. The three point four dollars. Three at four dollars. Yeah, something like that. All right. So we are on the um, vintage glimmer, mm. glimmer, glitter. Twelve. Oh my gosh. Eight dollars for the set. You get four containers. They pretty much look like they're new. I can't guarantee that they've never been used, but there is a lot of glitter in there, and they display nicely in your vignettes. Gabby, I see you went at eight. These are made by um, Craft House out of Chicago. That those two are Chicago. Um, they are old. You can see the back. So let's go ahead and start the countdown on the vintage glitter. I always forget where that is. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. And stop. Gabby, right. that glitter's coming your way. Here's another brain teaser. Everybody listen up now. Mike's father had three sons. Tom, Dick, and who? That one's easy. Nine second lag? Holy moly. <laughs> You got it. Brie got it first. Artsy Fartsy said Harry. <laughs> I know. I want to say Tom, Dick, and Harry, too, but I realized it was Mike's father. Huh? All right. So these, I don't know how rare these are. I could not find these. I'm kind of guessing at a price here. You could be getting a killer deal. I don't know. I just couldn't find these pencil toppers, and some of them go for quite a bit of money. Um, so I just priced mine kind of low. But we'll see if anybody's interested. They are a five dollar start here, and I have three, it's five dollars choice, I should say. So it's choice on these. These are old Monroe Bank and Trust pencils, and then the pens they are all sharpened though. Oh. They they are sharpened. What? The Monroe Bank and Trust is no longer a thing. It's I grew up with it. It says makes banking easier for you with visual auto tellers. Yeah. They, oh, where people could drive through the teller. Yeah, they're gone now. Yeah. They only had a few locations. Thank so. you, Brie, for putting that in. So they are these vintage pencils, and they have these vintage pencil toppers. This is the first one here. Um, he's like a old police, police officer. officer. Yeah. Yep. The next two are definitely Disney or Disney-inspired. Um, first one here is this Pinocchio, and these are old. I cannot find this guy. He's kind of creepy. Yes. Um, but yeah, he is a pencil topper. And I have some cu cupcake toppers that are very similar that are coming up. And then this is Donald Duck. Or a Donald Duck wannabe. Yeah. On the Vintage Monroe Bank and Trust. So you get choice of these three pencil toppers, the creepy Pinocchio, the cop, or the Donald Duck. Um, 
could not find those particular ones, so I don't know. <clears throat> Got another easy one for you. Here we go. What has one head, one foot, and four legs? What is it? Oh. Up next. Oh, very Susan good. Got Susan. It. You got it. This is a seven dollar start. It is vintage white hex, with hex, wonder bluing. It is still in the package. Um, so I do have it in a plastic bag here because it is coming out a little bit. Um, but you can see this is a vintage bluing. I think you would add this to your whites to make them super white. I don't know if there is. Um, Tilford out of New York established in 1840. Indispensable to every home. Made by the makers of Tintex Tints and Dyes. Say that fast, three things. No. Um, ordinary bluing has no effect on silks and woolens and cannot be used successfully on such materials. White tax is especially prepared to specific, no, specially prepared to work equally as well on silks and woolens as on cotton, linen, and rayon. It does not stain hands, will not settle at bottom, harmless. I see Gabby at seven. But great graphics on this, a great color. It's that red, white, and blue. Great for um, if you do like a um, beignet with your Americana stuff. I will let you know that it is, there. there is, there is blue coming out of it, like the little powder. So I don't know if you want to empty it out or wrap it in plastic or if you're okay with it. Um, yeah, we can just zip lock it in here. And yeah, you can so yeah, I do zip lock end, it when I ship it. But you want to start the countdown? Yeah. I'm going to put it back in its little bag here. We're going to start the countdown. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. All right. Yes, I'll make a note to empty it out. Can we empty it? Is it sealed? No, I can empty it. Okay, next. What gets bigger the more you take away from it? Okay. He's going to go empty it right now. Um, just so we don't forget. Don't forget. <laughs> Who remembers these little guys? I think they were called baby beans. Is it? It's a hole. You're right, Bree. You got that one. So. This is a $4 start here. These little things sell for crazy money. I have no idea why. Um, I had a, cool a I had a, a, like a bean baby in the seventies. I remember it. And I remember these, um, but I don't, I don't know if it's just nostalgic for people, why these are selling for so much, but they are, but it's a little tiny. He's got beans inside a little baby. And you're also getting this one here that needs to be put back together. I'm throwing this one in for free. So you get the head and the body. You just have to fill it up with beans. Oh, is it Mattel? Oh, Gabby, I'm going to put all the paperwork in the empty bag in here. If she wants it for something. Oh, there's paperwork that there's came with instructions it? instructions in the bag that I just dumped out. Okay. So you're getting both of them for $4. This one you can put back together. And have two of them if you want. I'm going to wash my hands because I don't know what the heck that stuff was. It says it's harmless. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. 
So those are available if anybody's interested, the baby beans. I have another thing of Japan trim. It's a bleach, hun. Yeah, hopefully it didn't get it on me. These are $3. Ooh, start. $3 start. These are Japan, made in Japan. Vintage trims dragonflies with googly eyes. You get six of them here. You can see they Google, Google, Google. Um, it does say Detroit, Michigan, made in Japan on the bottom, 49 cents. Um, the back is just blank, but they still are in the package. So it's kind of fun. $3. Awesome. I'm going to set those back here. We have another advertising piece here. This is a $4 start. And I'm just going to go through stuff a little quick. So if you see something you want, stop me. Oh, Jamie, you're in pack three. We're going to start the countdown for you. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and stop all right jamie you got those um the next item is a four dollar start i did type it in already this would look good in your vignettes for fourth of july americana memorial day or vintage kitchen decor um i love the front of this but i'm going to tell you i love the back even more the rings are still in here Look at the back. I just love that with the Presto jar at the bottom. And then it shows how to layer um, the lid on with the rings. These are the top seal jar rings. Great graphics. Hey, Jamie's here. Yeah. Hi, Jamie. Oops, let me scoot over. That's right. And these are $4 start on the jar rings got that red, white, and blue, so you can definitely use it in your Americana display kitchen, 4th of July, Memorial Day, all that fun stuff. All right. Next one, get your calculators out for this. How many peas are there in a pint? That was easy. I know, and I didn't even look. Mm -hmm. So this next item is kind of weird. I don't have any way to really price them. Um, Susan said one. And then Very Gabby good. said one. Very good. So you guys got it right this time. These are vintage um, 1800s from what the lady told me at the state sale. Cards. I have not found anything like them before they're ten dollars for choice and i have six different cards here if you want the whole lot i would sell them for fifty dollars for the whole lot and they're different cards this is the first one here by a member of the anti poke your nose in other people's business society a person at a salary of five hundred dollars a year with a With a periodical increase to one thousand to one thousand dollars to mind their own business and let other people's business alone. This is the first one here. The bank, the back is just blank. So some kind of novelty cards. Yeah, but some of them are acquaintance cards. That one's kind of a joke card. This one is an acquaintance card. I very much desire to make your acquaintance. If agreeable, please return this card. Appointing time and place for interview on the other side and tray new okay this one this is teeny tiny print it says dear miss 
the accompanying chromo is a good illustration done in aisle of the gent who escorted you home last Sunday evening as he appeared at three in the morning while ascending to his room. Society for the Society for the Invention of Cruelty to Animals wishes me to caution you against keeping him up so late again. But as you'll see, that's like freaking microscopic writing on there. So these were all kind of Bye, novelty Kim. cards. Thank you. This one says, a la mode, fair one. Tis balmy eve and Take gentle care, zephyrs blow. With mildness seldom seen of late. If you permit me, I would like to go and see you safely to the garden gate. And then we have this one, escort card. May I have the pleasure of escorting you home this evening? If so, keep this card. If not, please may I sit on the fence and see you go by. Strictly confidential. And then the last one is the biggest one. Um, and it's the weirdest one. I'm gonna read this to you. It does. It's kind of weird. Lost, a small boy about the size of a man, barefooted with his father's shoes on, had an empty bag on his back containing two railroad tunnels and a bundle of bungholes. He wore a mutton chop coat with bean soup lining. He was cross-eyed at the back of his neck and his hair was cut curly. He was born before his elder brother, his mother being present at the occasion. When last seen, he was shoveling wind off the courthouse with the intention of raising money enough to secure another of these packages, the button buster. Okay, so that's some weird stuff, you kind of sort of put it. <laughs> but you can see these are, um, she told me from the 1800s, they definitely look like it. Um, and the whole set, again, $10 for choice, or if you want the whole lot, um, I would do 50 on them. I did pay up for them just because I thought they were so cool. We do find a lot of weird stuff for sure. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here's the next one. You guys, this should be easy. easy how, many, how many animals of each species did Moses take into the ark? Up next, we have a $10 start here. And this is a vintage pharmacy tin. This one does have some wear on it. Two. Bree said two. No. Oh, no. Gabby said two. Um, none. Moses wasn't on the ark. <laughs> Noah, Noah was. <laughs> got him. Oh, I'm sorry. Got him. <laughs> you got Beth too. She said two. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. He tricked you. This is the vintage pharmacy tin. You do have to look kind of hard, but it does say Emerson's Pharmacy in Collingwood. This is a local pharmacy tin. Um, here's the back of it. So when they would get their prescriptions from the pharmacy, they would come in a tin like this. Great for your um, beignets. If you need an old tin, um, this is this is going to be it. It's a little bit bigger than the size of like a Secret <clears throat> tin, but this is old. This is, I wish I could read the date on it. We did get this at a local estate sale here. They had some really interesting stuff, but um, I really liked that it still had the paper label on there. And that is $10. All right. How can you throw a ball as hard as you can and make it stop and return to you without hitting anything <laughs> and without nothing attached to it? Now, this next one is a $14 start. I did pay up. He needed a tetanus shot before he touched that, she said. I love her little face. She needs to be restrung, but she is adorable. She is marked Japan. And you may have seen her in our um, preview. She has both arms and both legs in here. She's not a cutie, but she sure is adorable. I will take her out so you can see her. This is her torso. 
She's giving a side eye. I love her hair. Hey, Bree, what about Holy Moses? I remember hearing that when I was growing up. I had planned on restringing her, and I have another doll over there. I have to, oh, I have a more than one that I need to do, and I just haven't done it. So um, these are her cute little legs. Very good, Bree. With her little Mary Jeans on. Gabby's in at 14. And let me show you her little arms, too. Cutie patootie for sure. Um, I will definitely miss her because I've had her for a while. Planned on doing something cool with her, but I guess we'll just move her along to the next person that will take care of her. Um, so I'm sad to see her go, but I'm glad she's going to go to a new home. I love her little curl on her, the side of her head there. Gabby's in at 14. We're going to start the countdown. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. I don't know why I put a hand in there, but <laughs> what was it the stop? Gabby, she's coming your way. Thank you. What can you hold in your right hand, but not in your left? There you go. This is going to be a fun night with all these. I was right on that. I had to look. Oh, she's going to have a lot of friends at your house, huh? Well, good. Once you get her where, where you're going to put her, you'll have to take a picture and send it to me because I want to see. Now, these I debated on keeping, Very too. Very good on the left-hand answer. You got it. Oh, a lot of people got it right. Um, These... I needed help from and artsy fartsy was the one that helped me and tammy actually has the full four set and i will tell you if you find these in original package it sells very well very well on um ebay south sold comps very good on these these are 1960s rubies easter dye stoppers i had no idea what they were i think they're supposed to be a green one too i just have the three primary colors here um, but these are quite collectible, believe it or not. And I am selling my set here for $15 start. These are great if you have little um, bottles. You could put them in with some dye if you find the bottles um, that they fit. Um, they display really nice. But I love these little bunnies here. For some reason, I thought these were cupcake toppers. And then the more I looked at them, like these look like they go into a bottle. So I was really confused. And so I posted it. And I had a, a bunch of people tell me what they were. Um, so that was helpful. But these are for Easter egg dye from the 1960s. And I don't know if anybody remembers seeing these, but um, I think they're adorable. And they are $15 for the set of them. What common chemical compound can be represented by H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O? P. No. There's no P on it. H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. What common chemical compound? Common chemical compound. Do da. Do da. You don't what, Marilyn? We have a um, $5. Oh, okay. Well, have a good night, Beth. Yep. It was good to see you. Yep. I see you, Beth. Take care, dear. We have a $5 start here if you like buttons. I got some cool ones in this bag. Let me show them to you. H2O. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. Do ya? Brie put H2O. She just copied me. That's no, all. she knew. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I almost dropped a button, a button, a button. For these five dollars yeah you're gonna get this whole lot for five dollars yeah yeah we haven't even shown them to you yet there's some cool ones here these are all metal buttons just an array of metal there's some like crust ones in there toothpaste no like oh. they have a crust on them some like remington 
I know, very metal buttons in here. And then we have these beautiful ones. When the light hits them, they almost look like... Um, Was that the original package? Yeah, it's the original package on those. I thought these were cats. They're butterflies. Some butterfly ones. We have these with the crest on them. A white button. These adorable little train buttons. Little boutique buttons. Look at that. Those display nicely. Um, some loose buttons here, of course. And there's some loose ones here. But these are the most interesting to me. They're like jeweled. I don't know what they are. I so think they're $9 buttons. dollars for the whole thing? Yeah. And Ooh, some of no. these are missing their rhinestones. But look at these. I think these are buttons. They Never have the buttons. little... Look at them. They're big heavy duty buttons. It might be like for a coat or something. Yeah. Um, that one's missing one of the rhinestones. All the rest look good. So just one of them's missing a round rhinestone from what I see. But they have these emerald centers. With these um, rhinestones around the outside. And you get two, four, six, eight of them. So all these buttons you're showing are just one deal for five yeah. bucks? Yeah, it's one lot of buttons. Okay, I'll well, show them the rest of them. I am. Well, the rest of the buttons. Not I did. Photos. I showed them all. That's the whole lot okay. right there. All those buttons. Oh, and from... you get this one here, which is like um, a frosted plastic. But these are the most interesting to me. You could really do some some cool stuff with these. That's a very unique. Yeah. I don't know. I thought they were neat. So that is the button bag that I have today. Ah. I really like these two. Little boutiques buttons, the little trains. Um, those are cute. And then with this whole bag of the metal buttons too. So you're getting some cool ones in there. Um, oh, see Gabby at 12, Marilyn at 13. That one feels like glass almost. That one's kind of an art deco look to it with the lines. All right, I see Marilyn in at 13. Let's go ahead and start the countdown here. It's nice having this little. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. All right. Marilyn, you've got those for $13. All right. You're going to have to listen close to this next one. Listen up. If the day after, the day before yesterday was Monday, and the day before the day after tomorrow is Wednesday, what day is today? Thank you. You want to put that over there for me? Mm -hmm. All right. So I have these weird glittery ladder numbers. Um, I bought these out in California. I was going to crack with them. And, and that's from down where we got that vintage sign, right? Yeah, we have yeah. we have these letters upstairs. They spell out vintage, and we hang them on our vintage um, library card file, which was what I was going to use these for, something similar, but they're weird Take letter care, numbers. Kathy. Bye, Kathy. Bye. Thank you. This the clue. This one is a V, and these are $2 choice. It's a weird combination. I don't know if anybody can use these. But we have the letter V, the number six, or it could be a nine. Well, I guess it would have to be a six because the holes are up here. The number five. He would string these on one string. Yeah. Um, either an O or a zero. The letter U. The letter J. The number two, 
and the letter S. So I don't know. Just this. I don't know. <clears throat> BO5. There you go. While we're thinking about that, let me repeat this one here again. Listen closely. If the day after, the day before yesterday was Monday, and the day before the day after tomorrow is Wednesday, <laughs> what day is today? Okay, we have um, just a couple more items, then we're going to move over to the box over here that has Very all good, the Very good, Susan. You got it. Picks in it. Um, so this next set are these little pot holder, pot hanger honors. Pot holders. That doesn't sound right. Pot holder. No, it's not pot holder. These are a $3 start. $3 start. With spring here, these would be really cute on your little pots. You get both of them. I can't tell if they're a hard plastic or if they're breakable, but they're these little birds. Little birds, and they sit on the edge of your pot. Um, they do have a marking here. Maybe it's not a marking. It kind of look like one, but anyway. You get both of them for three bucks. One is a little bit darker than the other one. So they have a little bit of a difference. But look at their little feet. And they sit over the edge of the pot. This is what they look like on their back. So it cute. Like a flower pot or something. Yeah. You send them in your flower pot on the ledge. Um, super cute. And they're three dollars for the pair. Pot sitters. Yeah, pot, pot sitters. I thought you said pot stickers. Pot stickers. <laughs> right? This next one's a good one, but the answer's too long. Yeah. Then we have these vintage cocktail honeycombs. These are a $3 start. $3 start. Oh, Marilyn, were you in on the pot sitters? She said, try us, Gino. What? You sure? All right. This one makes sense. I'll read it off There to is you. a marking on there. I just can't but read what it the says. Pretty long, so listen up. There is a marking right here on or the not. side of these. Okay. Read the sitters. Mary yep. wants the sitters. We will count these down for you. We'll do that real quick. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. All right. You All got right. those. Thank you, Marilyn. This one's a kind of a, not so much of a, it's, it's, it'll be common sense. I'll give you that. Three switches outside a windowless room are connected to three bulbs inside the room. How can you determine which switch is connected to which bulb if you are only allowed to enter the room once? Three switches outside a windowless room are connected to three light bulbs inside the room. How can you determine which switch is connected to which bulb if you're only allowed to enter the room once? She said turn Think them on. It. Susan said turn them on. Turn them on? So three, One switch operates one light. Three dollars and it's for all of these uh, five picks that you get here. Let me open one and show you what it looks like. They're vintage honeycomb picks. The idea is to figure out which switch controls which light. I think, how did these go? That doesn't quite look right. Do they go like, it must go like this, like a parasol, right? I would think you would pull them together. Yeah, back you would too. pull them together here and hook them like that. So they look like little um, parasols. Leave two on, turn one. 
<laughs> she said Bree help. Yeah, but that still doesn't tell you you have two switches on, you have two lights on, which switch goes to which light. And these are different colors. They come in orange and pink by the ends of them there. You're getting five of them in the lot for the honeycomb uh, drink cocktail picks. You need these if you're having a pina colada, for sure. You can't have a pina colada without one of those. All right, I'm ready to grab my box over here. If you're blind, it wouldn't matter. Well, there is that. So keep in mind, three switches, three lights, one switch per light. If you can only walk in and look at this room once, how can you determine which switch controls which light? We have a box of goodies here. Yeah, ready? A buzzer. No. Uh oh, am I gonna push stuff on the floor here? Yep. Right. Switch on the first switch, leave it on for a minute, and then switch it off again. Then switch on the second okay. switch and enter the room. The second switch will be connected to the light that is on. The first switch will be connected to the light with the warm bulb. And the third switch will be connected to the light down. with the cold bulb. Okay, whatever. Can you put these in the they they sold? And then just put the stuff behind you if you can so I don't knock it over. Yeah. She said, oh, crap. You were. You were, you were on the right path, Susan. Yes. All right. So we have a bunch of these vintage tokens here. Some of them from Reno. Some of them from Virginia City or mm -hmm. Vegas. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Um, these are $2 each. And these are Silver City tokens. I don't think that casino is there anymore. No. Um, but we've got two cups of tokens. So if you're interested in seeing any of the tokens, I don't believe any of the, these casinos are around anymore. I don't know. All right. But I don't know where all it's suppressed. In, but, well, there's one. All right. So $3 choice on these. And these are cupcake picks. Okay. Starting out, we have this little girl. She is adorable. I can't say as I've seen this cupcake pick before. No, this would have probably been Reno, if I had to guess. Here, I'll put those in front of you. I think Reno was considered a silver city. Not Reno, I'm sorry, Virginia City. Virginia City. So she's super cute. So this if you're says, interested in the little girl, just type in little girl, because I'm going to show you several. Says, this says oh, Las Gabby's Vegas. Gabby's in it, three. The cups say Las Vegas on them for Silver City. But there are different tokens in here. All right, we're going to count it down for the little girl ones. They only have one of those. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. And stop. This doesn't go with this. Um, I was missing the tag. I made a new one for that. Okay. All right. She so, is so cute. Thank you. Gabby, she's coming your way. I don't see a sticker for this one. All right. So this next, these next ones are $3 start for choice. Um, some of them are the same. This isn't right either. This one was it, right? That goes with Gabby's. It was laying over here with us. Just put it with Gabby's baggie. That was supposed to be with it. Um, she had all the heads that weren't in the big bag. All right. It, I think it's over there. Yeah, you got it. All right. So the next cupcake picks, and this is going to be $3 start for choice. And I have a bunch of these little birds. This one has is a pack of four. And these are like a corally, coral color um, for the bird picks. We have a lion, an elephant, and a camel. Gabby's in at three. 
we have a set of three clowns, green, yellow, and blue. Oh, this is not good. Golf clubs and um, baseball mitts with baseballs. And so this is our first bundle here. You are gonna get choice. Um, Gabby's in at three. So if you're interested, it's um $3 per bag. So not an individual pick, no, it's $3 for each bag. Um, so this first bundle is gonna be choice of the camel, the lion, the elephant, three clowns, like a sports pack here with golf clubs and baseball mitts or birds. So I am, if you're interested, go ahead and get your numbers in. We're gonna count this down. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. All right, Gabby. Gabby, you are in on this at three. Um, which one or ones would you like? Again, the sports pack, the birds. We have the lion, elephant, and camel, or the clowns. Um, you want the bird and the animals, these two here. You got it. Aha, let's see who's awake out there. I know a word with letters three. Add two and fewer there will be. I know a word with letters three. Add two and fewer there will be. That one's too hard. I did see that one. All right, here's the next bundle. This is a $3 start. Very good, Gabby. How did she figure that out? I she's read very, it like eight times and couldn't still figure it out. She's very intelligent. Are you saying I'm dumb? I didn't say that. You were implying that. I didn't say it. You said it. And this one, you're getting um, three of the coral birds, one yellow, and then like a random candle holder. That's option one. Option two are clowns. You get a set of three clowns. These are like nursery rhyme cake toppers. I believe that blue one, Hickory Dickory Dock, is missing his stick. But you do get... Um, I got you, Gabby. Don't worry. There's like four. I think there's four of them in this bag. And the last one is kind of like a Western theme. You get the cowboys, um, horses, and there's some lassos in there too. And so that is your choice on this lot. You get the nursery rhymes, cowboys, clowns, or birds. And $3 for choice. I see Gabby in at three. We're going to start the countdown. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Put it together. I, I always get confused where it's going. Um, all right. Gabby, you got it for three. Um, nursery rhyme, clown, bird, or cowboy. Nursery rhymes and birds, okay? <clears throat> Got it. There's that one. All right. We have, in this next bundle, we have two lions and a camel, clowns, pink birds, or these vintage sheet candle holders. So that is your option, $3 start birds, candle holders, clowns, 
or animals. Gabby's in at three. Again, this will get you the whole bag for one price. Let's go ahead and start the countdown here. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. All right, I see Gabby again. Um, let me guess, birds? <laughs> birds, animals, clowns, or candle holders? F those clowns, she said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got the bird. All right. We got you on that one. $9. We're going to do one more round here. Okay, I got one more brain teaser for you that I'm throwing in the towel. What? If you go to the cinema and you're paying, is it cheaper to take one friend to the cinema twice or two friends to the cinema at the same time? Okay, next one. We have a camel and two lions. Birds, varying colors here, a coral and pink. <clears throat> and this one is all pink. Maybe we'll throw in the clowns for Gabby. She, she doesn't the like the clowns, apparently. $3 for choice. No, no. Re revisit that, Susan. Think about it. All right. Gabby's in at three. Let's go ahead and start that countdown. She said repeat. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. All right. If you go to the cinema Gabby, and you're you paying, it. is it cheaper to take one friend to the cinema twice or two friends to the cinema at the same time? All of them, you got it. After this, I have to go monitor the dogs because I think mom's to bed. So. Oh, really? Yeah, and Sophie's. I'm going to try to send her out one more time and see what happens. Okay. There's that. Now, what I have left in this cupcake lot here is. Very good. Is the sports. Because. The Cowboys. If, if you take one friend twice, that one to pay for them. You have to pay for yourself twice. That so would be four. Is there anybody list, um, interested in this lot here? If we lot these together, you're going to get the Cowboys, the Clowns, which, Gabby, I know you're super loving that, and the Sports. I um, think we just hide some Clowns in our shipment see what happens. <laughs> we could do this whole lot here for one price. If there's any interest, just let me know on that. Chuck Letta thinks it's a good idea. <laughs> she put a thumbs down on the clowns. Um, but if there's any interest in these, we can lock, we'll sell them as one price. She said, Gino, I will haunt you. I like clowns. They're my favorite people. Well, then you're not going to like this next item because this Look is... Look at my tooth. This is a $1 start, okay? $1 start for each. And I think these are clown heads, okay? Um, they're vintage pom-pom clown heads, so they're kind of cute. I think that's what they are. I do have several of them available here. They are still in the package, and you do get three in a package. They're vintage pom-poms. Yeah, Susan, we have to lock the door to the basement because we woke up twice now and she's been in our bedroom, so. <laughs> you have a selfie with her. 
Um, so if you're interested in vintage clown head pom-poms, maybe it's Mr. Bill. I couldn't figure out what it was. I was going to say clowns, but maybe it's Mr. Bill. Um, there are several available, a dollar a piece if there's any interest in those. We have these fun items here. These are 25 cents each. Vintage Disney trace alongs. These are a quarter piece. Um, we have them in Donald Duck and Minnie Mouse. I only have two of the Mickeys available, but you would trace around these. These are hard plastic, vintage Disney. They are marked Disney on the back. I think that's what these are. You would lay them on the paper, trace around them. Um, we have Donald Duck, Minnie, and two Mickeys, 25 cents each while supplies last. If there's any interest in those. Now, Pinocchio. Yep, I'm getting ready to right now. These are the super rare, could not find them, Hong Kong cupcake picks. I have a little bag of them here. I couldn't find these when I tried to find them online. We have one, two, three Donald, one Pinocchio, three Mickey, and two of these other mouse, they look like Mickey Mouse too. Just different version of them. Now, I have these at seven a piece. I don't know because I couldn't find them. I don't know if they're rare enough. Um, I was just guesstimating on price, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, let me just show them to you. Um, these are the first two here. These are, this guy is missing his pick but this is what he looks like on his pick. These are old. Those two, here's the Mickey ones though. That, that one I don't think is Mickey. Here's the vintage Mickey ones. See how they look like the pencil toppers? Super duper cool. Again, I have no idea on price, so if I'm way off, um, let me know. I'm wondering if they say Hong Kong on the back. They say something back here. I can't make out what it says. Maybe it's upside down. There is something on the back of the head. I just can't read it. This is the Pinocchio one. And then I have three of the Donalds. I don't know if I'm off on price. You guys can let me know. Um, <coughs> these are the Donalds here. These are old cupcake picks. I kind of am drawn to the Donald one for sure. Um, but there's a whole bag of these that I have available. If there's any interest in them. Yes. I Some of the prices that they have on um, eBay are just crazy. I can't imagine. So I was trying to price them low. But then it's like, is that still too high? I don't know. So if you want to make an offer on these, you can definitely do that. Um, I do have that many available then i have these amazing little greyhound bus pins here i only have two left um they are like a stick pin i bought these out in california i had more i did um sell some of them but they are little mini greyhounds on a stick pin two available and those are $2 a piece. I have more cupcake picks here. 
Um, these are kind of political. That's how I took them because they're the donkey and the elephants. You get two elephants and two donkeys and they do have loops on them where you could almost hang them from a charm bracelet or necklace. You can see the donkey's tail and then the um, elephant's trunk. So these, I wasn't quite sure where to have these priced at. I'm just not sure on these, but if somebody's interested in, in the donkeys and the elephants, and then the other cupcake picks I have here are these amazing elephants, monkeys, lions, and they have the candle holder built in with them. And these are great. Um, I was selling these for like a dollar a piece. Well, I sold one. <laughs> I had somebody that bought a lion one, but when you look at them, they are awesome. Look at those. So you're getting in this bag here, one, two, two of the camels, and then one, two, three elephants. Two of them are blue, one of them is pink. And then four of the lion, I'm sorry, three lions, three lions. These are great because they have the little candle holder built into them. Love it. And then you're getting a monkey. I didn't even know the little monkey was in there. He's cute. Um, so this lot, Gabby, I have no idea on where to be on price. Why don't you shoot me a price on these? You're like the cupcake pick expert. <laughs> you want the um, political ones too? You don't want the political ones. You just want this, these right here, right? Nine of them. You want that for nine bucks? Okay. So the political ones are available. I don't know if they're really political. It's donkeys and elephants. I guess it would be right. Oh, thank you, Gabby. I do appreciate it. But I'm only charging you $9. Cause you are so sweet. $9. Yeah. All right. Then we have this 1950s, 1960s fun little item here. Um, this is a vintage ring that you would have got out of like the gumball machine. You like the ballerinas. I am keeping my eye open for ballerinas for you because I do know you like them. I have not found any, but maybe this weekend. We'll see. Um, $10, what was that for? That lot was $9, not $10. This is 1950s, 1960s Berry View seal ring. And if you look, see the seal? It does have the original tag on the inside that explains what it is. Berry View, Mount Vernon, New York. There's a patent number on here. Not a problem, artsy fartsy. Is 
Isn't it so cute? And this little guy is, did I already put it in? You got all the pics you wanted, right? Yeah, the flickering. It's called a very view. It's from the 50s and 60s, and you can see how the seal turns. Yes, mm-hmm. And it's a little kid's ring. It still has the um, paper label on the inside. Very, very cute. All right, so looking here, we have some more um, littles for you. I do have bags of marbles. I have three bags of marbles. No idea. On um, prices for these. I've been trying to figure out the age on these. I will tell you that there are some clay ones in here. I don't know if they're old. I don't know if they're reproduction. You could be getting a great deal on marbles as well. You like the ring. It was $4 on the ring. I think that's what I said, four bucks. Some of the stuff I haven't priced, so. Um, yep. All right. Gabby's in at four on the ring. I couldn't remember what I said on it. I'm going to miss this guy. You're getting all my fun stuff. All right, let's count it down. We'll make it official. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. I love small stuff like this. It's so weird. But this is what I'm drawn to. There could be a beautiful glass, whatever it is. It, I'll pick up this. I don't know why. I just buy what I like. And I'm drawn to this kind of stuff. Thank you, Gabby. You got it. You're same as me, huh? If it's a cute illustration. Did you get your book? Um, what's the name of that book that I sent you? It was so beautiful, the inside of it. Did you love it when you got it? I hope you did. I wrapped it up in paper to keep it um, safe. But the illustrations in that book, I think it had like an Art Nouveau feel to it. Yeah, I'm not a glass person. You love that book. Isn't it amazing? Oh, my God. I know. I couldn't. I want to keep so many of them, but it's like, what can you do? Oh, good. Awesome. And then we have these vintage grocery price tags here. These are a heavy cardboard. They are green and red. Cute for your Christmas vignettes or just everyday vignettes. Um, I've got all different numbers here. Yeah, I'm not a glass person. I mean, I just, it's, it's pretty to look at. And I live in Toledo, which is the glass city. And a lot of the glass companies are here. But I'm not a glass person. First off, I'm very klutzy, and it will probably get broken. So, <laughs> yeah, isn't it funny? Now, the swung vases are beautiful, but I cannot spend that much on a vase. There's just no way. Um, but I do think they're beautiful in a window, but I don't have anywhere to put them in my house. So, I don't know. But these are a dollar a piece, and they are uh, glass faders unite. I know. I'm drawn to just weird, unusual stuff and cutesy stuff for sure. But if anybody's interested in the price tags, we do have a bunch available. They're a dollar a piece um, and I have different numbers available. Now bags of marbles. I don't know if we have any marble people in here. <laughs> a class later club. Aw, you do? Well, that's okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about marbles, but they are glass. There you go, Karen. Um, there are a couple clay ones in here again. I don't know. 
I don't know anything about them. I bought a jar of marbles. And um, so, yeah, you don't know. They're great to display. You love clowns. Why didn't you get those um, cupcake picks? I have some really cute clowns. And I'm not a clown person, but I will tell you, even Gabby will probably like these clowns if I show them. They're that cute. I do like pottery better than glass. I'm the same way. Roseville, I'm drawn to Roseville pottery. Um, Van Briggle, I really like how it, you just like to hold it. It's that smooth, like silky feel when you hold it. Van Briggle, I love it. Um, so yes, yeah, I'm a pottery person over glass for sure, any day. McCoy, yes. I have these vintage Ohio tax stamps. They come in lots of 10. These are great for junk journaling, scrapbooking, whatever you may. Um, $2 per package and you get 10 stamps. The white glaze, yes, I do, I love it. I like mushrooms too. Did you see the mushrooms? Helen, you, Helen you've seen the mushrooms that I make out of felt, right? Do I have one back yet? It's probably over my craft table. I need to get busy and felt some more mushrooms. I was going to be, we had planned on doing this craft show sale in September, and now we're not doing it. And so I was making a bunch of stuff for that. When I say a bunch, I mean, I started making stuff and then I stopped. But anyway, I need to start doing that again. I have vintage tally cards. These are vintage bridge tally cards. I have them in the peacock, the flamingo, and another bird. They are $3 for choice. And there is vintage ice cream advertising on the back side. Let me show you. Um, this is what they look like on the front. This is the Meadow Gold Products milk ice cream butter on the back. And then they open up into these cards here, scorecards. You collect those, what? Um, so I have this like parrot style bird, the flamingo and the peacock and they are $3 for choice. Um, this is all I have left of them. I did have a big stack. Tally cards, right? Tally cards or talkie cards, whatever you wanna call them. <laughs> Those are available. I have vintage party invites here. We have them in the elephant. Artsy fartsy, I have those cards here. Um, and I did put them in sets and I'm showing those next. We have the elephant party cards. They come with their envelopes and the little oops, mouse on a cupcake here. They do come with their envelopes. These are unused. Um, in party invites. Yep, I do have tally cards and these are $2 for choice. The tally cards are $3 for choice and I have um, the peacock, the, the, um, well, these are the three here. Let me see how many I have of each one, two, I have three peacocks. I have a bunch of the parrot ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, seven of the whatever bird that is. Now, I have four peacock cards, but one of them I'm just realizing has a tear. So I'll just throw this one in to whoever wants it. Um, whoever gets the rest of them here. On the Flamingos, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten flamingos. These are, um, oops, they open up and the tally cards are, aren't these tally cards? Art Deco tally cards? I don't know which ones those are. Um, these are the ta bridge tally cards. I think they're bridge, I'm guessing. 
Um, these are the, I call them Art Deco Tally Cards. I must have sold them. I don't know which ones they are. Um, unless they're over because I packed up most of the cards and put them over there. The ones that didn't sell. Um, I can check on those. Maybe they were decks of cards. Oh, maybe. I know that I did sell a bunch of them. So the booby cards. There are $2 a set. You're getting five cards in the set. And they're in diamonds, clubs. Basically, you get five cards and they're going to be all the clubs, all the diamonds, hearts, spades. I did package them up into sets, $2 per set. If there's any interest, um, this is what they look like on the back. And then this is what they look like on the front. So you're going to get a set of five cards and all the same suit. They're all pretty much the same. Um, but those are, like I said, $2 a set. You want one set. Gabby, you want clubs, spades, diamonds, or hearts. Yeah, of course. All right, so for the tally cards, there they are. You want the clubs, okay. That is the one that I showed. She got her little top hat on there. One $2 set here for you. You got it, ma'am. And you want one set of, um, one of each of the tally, the bridge tally cards. One peacock, one flamingo, and one parrot. I'll throw in that um, torn one for you. Maybe you can use it for something. All right, you got it. You want one of each of the suits? I have multiple of each suit. See, I have a whole little bag of them here. But we can do a complete like set for you if you want before four different bundles, clubs, spades, you know what it is. But let me know if you want that or if you want them all, we can do that too. <laughs> Just let me know. Good package toppers. Wouldn't that be funny to, to add those on as package shoppers? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. So you want one of each one. So you have the clubs. We'll give you a diamond, a heart, and a spade. So we still have a bunch left here. Um, if anybody's interested. They are just $2 for a set of five cards. <laughs> Talk, it changes it to talkie. All right, we do have some individual cards here. Um, these are 50 cents each, vintage children's playing cards. These are fun. Um, I'm just going to go through these real quick with you. That's the first one. We have two of the elephants. 
three of the horse, three of the strong man, two of the little doggy, three of the ringmaster guy, instant strip poker. Yes. Hi, Debs. Three of the bears. Yes, of course. I can show those to you up next. We have the drummer guy here. These are all 50 cents each. A lion. And then the um, large lady here. I think she's adorable. We have a camel. This one's a little different. Two kangaroos. And this adorable puppy with the slipper. Again, these are all 50 cent each. Great to scrapbook with. Um, these are the next ones here. These are animal rummy cards. Three seals. A bunny. Four of the puppies. Three of the kitty cats. That one's kind of chewed up. Two of the lions. Three of the bears. Three of the tigers. These are great to put in your flower frogs. Um, these little cards. Three elephants. And three monkeys. And then the last Rummy cards, and again, these are all 50 cents, so if you see them and you're interested in them, just let us know. Debs, did Gino reach out to you already? One, we have three squirrels, two bunnies, a goose, a puppy, a mouse, a turtle, two foxes, and three pretty kitties. And those are all the loose cards we have here. Again, 50 cents each. Um, let me check those invites for you real quick. Um, did you want one of each, Gabby, on the invites? We have the cupcake and the elephant. The, the elephant one, and then we have the little cupcake with the two mice. They are $2 each. I think you're interested in these animal rum, rummy ones here. These that I just showed. The fox, uh, this, this style right here with the pretty kitty. I think these are the ones you're interested in. Do you want all of them that I have left or just particular ones, all of them? I will um, send them in the box that they come with, okay? There's 14 total. <clears throat> I am going to throw in this lion one here. It's got a little bit of a torn corner, but if you can crack with it, I will include that for you. Okay. Not a problem. Thank you. Those are really cute. I do like those, that style of them. Can you imagine those graphics on a t-shirt or a tote bag? So cute. And take a drink here. Thank you so much. And so the party invites the elephant and then the little mouse. These are $2 each um, and they do come with our envelope. You let me know how many or if you just want, it, want one of each, just let me know. If anybody sees something you're interested in, just put 
put it in the chat there and I can show you again because we do have some cool items um, that didn't sell. So if you missed it, just watch back. Oh, you're interested in the um, dandy can candy dandy ones? I don't make t-shirts, but can you imagine these graphics on a t-shirt? For sure, I would buy one. Oh my gosh. I can definitely show you the dandy candy cards. I have to, I have to see where I put them first. Because I made way for um, this new sale stuff, and so I moved all the cards out of the way. But I think they're just sitting over here. I'll, I'll take a look for you in just a minute. Oh, my gosh. They're super collectible cards. Um, so hard to find. And mine are brand new in the package. But they are a little pricey. Okay, so we have two little vintage invites for you. You've got it, Gabby. They sell the individual cards for like nine bucks a piece. And they do, I think, reproduce them into graphics for t-shirts and tote bags and stuff like that. Um, I've seen them on Pinterest. Kind of crazy. One of the big um, resellers for Ephemera on um, Instagram, I know you, you've seen her before. She was very, she's very familiar with them and... Um, she was kind of shocked to hear that I had one still in the box. So that was kind of cool. Um, so I think that we went over everything here. Did I miss anything? So I can go see if I have those cards. Let me move my tray. And of course we do have um, the normal add-ons here. We have the Gladoline, the bobby pins. Uh, bingo cards, popcorn bags, tin ashtrays, and cello picks. All of the regular goodies we have. So if you want to add these on, these are still available. Let me just take a step over here real quick um, to see if I can find those cards. Hold on. Real quick. Them. These are all I have left of the playing cards. <laughs> oh, I do have one t shirt with my logo on it. Well, actually, Gino has one and I have one. Um, and then I did my, my lion logo, this one, on a t shirt too. I'm not lying. I think you're great. Sugar Bush is sweet ass stuff. Um, my main channel. I actually put this on a t-shirt too. These are huge stickers. If anybody wants a sticker, I do have my logo and I have these stickers. They're great heavy duty stickers. Um, these are $5 if anybody's interested. Um, I just didn't think anybody would want my t-shirt. So I never did it, but I don't know. All right, so the ones that you're talking about are these D&D &D candy cards. Now, this is a, they're brand new. However, over time, um, this top piece has just come unglued. But you put a spot of glue in there and it closes up. They're still sealed. You can see um, this is how they would normally be. You would have to cut that seal to open them. But if you were to put a spot of glue there, they're sealed again. Over time, it's just come undone. So I can show you what they look like inside. You dork. <laughs> Deck. Oh, he has in Debs? Okay. I think there was a little mix up. And I think it was your box that was mixed up. And so I will... Um, $200? Holy schmoly. Gunky junk. Well, I got mine priced super low then. <laughs> um, so they are from, do I have a price on these? Or a year, I mean. 
because I bought a bunch of different ones from the same lady. She had um, the trail drive ones and she had a fish one and she had another one, but I think I made, might have sold the other ones. Yeah, I bought like four of them, but this one was the coolest. And these, it's called Dandy Candy Card Game. And this is what the back of the cards look like. And they are brand new. Yep, $50. That's what I have them priced at. And I thought that was high, but $200? But you figure you're, some people are selling these for 10 bucks, 9 bucks a card. It's crazy. Um, so you get ice cream cone. It's anthropomorphic candy and sweets. I do probably have them priced a little low, but I can't see pricing them that high. That's just crazy. I love the candy cane one. And there is four of each one. So you're getting four of each card. And then you have the gingerbread man. He's so cute. All of the backs look like this. The cookies are adorable. Then we have the peanuts, anthropomorphic peanuts, say no more. We have the pie. And I've been holding on to these for a long time just because I was like, I don't know. Really? Yeah, I think Gabby's in at 50. I think um, these are probably well worth the price. Um, there's the soda pop. Gabby, you're bidding on all my favorite stuff. <laughs> Here's the cake. I don't think you can go wrong with these though. Here's the Sunday. Isn't she beautiful? Can you imagine this on a t-shirt is what I'm saying. It's just crazy. And then you have popcorn. They are amazing, and it's very rare that you're going to find them brand new. The ones you find are going to be used, um, but like I said, this has just come apart over time, but if you put a spot of glue there, they'll be sealed up. Reprints on Etsy. Exactly. I think you're getting a killer deal here. I've held on to them for a long time, but um, if you can do something amazing with them, then I hope you do. And I surely will miss them, but I guess I'm just going to have to come to your house and visit all my cool stuff. <laughs> exactly. Um, so these are dandy candy, and they sure are a very special card. And they are sealed. Um, so you can see how it's supposed to open right here, and it's still sealed. So if you just put a spot of glue. However, I didn't glue them because I wanted to be able to show what they look like um, and that they are in brand new condition. So we are going to start the countdown here. My goodness. This is epic for sure. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Guess what? Gabby, you're getting my dandy candy cards, and I think you're getting a killer deal. But I'm so glad they're going to somebody that will love them. And, um, yeah. Super excited for you to have these. Um, you'll have to let me know what you do with them. The stop goes up before the countdown. That's so weird. Well, I didn't see anybody else come in. <laughs> Gabby does have great taste. For sure. Miss Gabby, you got an awesome deal there. Um, if you do anything cool with them, you have to send me pictures. I definitely want to see. I will show you a couple more of the card sets because I do have another rare one here. Um, these are Zodiac cards, vintage from the 1930s, I believe. 
and they are in like brand new condition as well. I think they are. Oh, you're on a lag. Yes, Gabby, I'm sure they need, you know, they're not being seen in my basement. So if you're going to do something cool with them, then you should have them. Thank you, Artsy Fartsy for bringing that up. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Um, these are the Zodiac Circle playing cards here. These are from 1931. These go for $99 on eBay, um, $64.99 eBay. They're, they sell, but they are kind of rare to find them. I do have these at $45. Um, let me show you what they look like, though. Gino found these, and he was so excited. These are made by Whitman Publishing, 1931. So it's got the directions here, how to lay them all out. These are in beautiful condition. I don't think they've been used. They are pristine. So you get a bunch of these cards here. Different ones like this. And it has this cool design on the back. And then you get the Zodiac cards. So there's a specific way that you lay them out to be able to read. Um, but really, really cool, beautiful cards. Um, but definitely look these up. If you haven't seen these before, they're pretty amazing. Um, and they are Zodiac Circle playing cards. Beautiful condition. They don't look like they've been used at all as well. The box is amazing. It may even glow in the dark. We did mostly playing cards last week. Um, and then I have the Trail game, Trail Drive game here, 1950s. This came from the same house that the um, Candy Dandy one came from. He was like, you're selling that? I was like, yes, I sure am. We have um, 1950s Animal Snap. This is cool. This is um, sealed cards. I Hardy, Mad maker to his majesty, still sealed up. Does have the um, stamp on the back. These are sealed cards to his majesty. The Prince of Wales and the Prince of Wales, I think it says. Um, touch that. There we go. So these are cool. I have vintage domino cards. I think these are from the 20s. No, 1908. 1908 on these cards here. Which one were you asking about? Um, these right here are $10 for the I Hardy card maker to his majesty, the queen and the prince of Wales on those, the British one. Yeah. I don't know what they look like. Um, I have seen some pictures online of people when they open them and they look very primitive almost like handmade. Um, so very interesting. But of course, I didn't open them to look. I see Gabby in at 10. We are going to start the countdown here. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. And stop. All right, did anybody else come in? Gabby, you, you got the, these cards too. You missed my card sale last week. We sold a lot of playing cards and I still have a lot here available. Well, not a lot, but um, some cool ones for sure. I have Animal Dominoes, 1900s Flinch. They look like this. Early 1900s. There's a blue set and a red set in here. 
I think this is the one that has both. Oh, this is the blue. Oh, I'm sorry. It comes with two bags. You get um, the red ones and the blue ones in these bags in their early 1900s. The 1950s, um, this is the animal snap. These are very primitive looking too. Let me show them to you first. They're very cool, but I don't know what flinch is. You know, Gino said that he played that when he was younger, um, but I don't know what it is, but you're getting quite a few cards and they're from the early 1900s. This is what the animal snap looks like. It is $12. Let me show you the cards. does come with its directions. The cards are really unusual on this. Matilda Mouse. You get four of those. These are Percy Pelicans. All the cowboy ones. Billy Goat what the back looks like. Jenny Squirrel. They are really cute. They're old. Jimmy Jumbo. The elephant. Um, these are $12 start. From what I could find, it said 1950s, but they look 40s to me, so I'm not sure. Joey Rue. Jim Crow. And you're getting four of each one. And then Sammy Sea Lion. And they come with directions and the smallest handwriting known to man. <laughs> I don't know. But they are still in their box. Um, and those are a $12 start. Come in their box. Okay, if anybody's interested, just let me know. Um, I have the Vintage Grand Slam game. I think this is 1930s on this one. These are Oracle cards, Woodland Wardens. These are beautiful cards. These aren't old, but they are beautiful cards. The trail drive is from the 1950s. That's the Western one. I have vintage hearts. The 1908 domino cards. On the Grand Slam, $7 start on those. They do have a deco look to them for sure. Um, they are brand new, brand new condition, never been played, still have their directions. And look at what they look like. They have a very deco look to them. Different shapes, um, really cool. If you're into art deco, it's got the diamonds, the circle, square and star so you get all the different shapes with the numbers it's gorgeous right that's what they look like she bought our dandy candy cards Ooh. gabby did thank you gabby <laughs> oh my goodness you know said thank you you didn't eat your cookie i haven't yet no I'm, i'll finish it um i see you in at seven you see his big old head there. You put your jammies on? Yeah, I'm old. All right, we're going to start the countdown on these Deco Grand Slam cards here. You're getting a killer deal on these, too. Let's count it down. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Thank you, Gabby. You got it, ma'am. I'm surprised you're not getting any bobby pins tonight. I was like, you like those bobby pins. You probably all stocked up on those, though. All right. I do have um, Victorian calling cards here. Lots of those if there's any interest. Um, I have five locks of those left. They're the die cut, die cut Victorian calling cards. I have two of the Bob Tig. I think that's how you say his name. Decks of playing cards with the doggies on them. I know. You're buying all my favorite stuff. Which ones were you looking um, for a price for? On the Victorian calling card ones? They're different lots, so I can show you each one if that's the case. Um, they are $12 a lot, and you're getting either four or five in there. Okay, well, we can definitely go through those real quick. You can see if you're interested in them. So, I do have them numbered. This is, lot number one has, oh, it's $12, but I can show you an example of what's in there. Um, lot number one already sold. So this is lot number two. This is an example on what you would get. Um, and they do lift up with the person's name. You bought my Grand Slam cards too? Yeah. Those are cool deco cards for sure. Whoops. So that's an example of what you get in the lot. Uh, but they are amazing. If somebody's interested in all of the lots together, um, let me know. Oh, I see she does that one. We'll make you a great um, deal on them. I did show those already. Yeah. yeah. And then we have this amazing card lot here. This was $12, and you get this whole stack of cards. Um, Look at this. It's a little book. But look at the, the dogs. Would you look at her? I'm sorry. This is adorable. They are used cards. Um, but the illustrations on that one adorable. And then we have the googly-eyed owl. <laughs> yes. This one is like a Spanish one here. We have a Native American one. This one's got mica glitter on it, the kitten. This is like a soda fountain. I'm saving my favorite one for last. This one, I've never seen anything like it. I thought it was so cute. It's a wallet, like a little boy's wallet. It's a money holder that you would put money in. And it's textured. Now, it was in a scrapbook at one time. Um, it's textured like leather. And it's a little wallet. That and the puppy one, this one here, makes up for the whole lot. I'm sorry, that is adorable. Gabby, I see you in at 12 um, on the adorable card lot here. We are going to count it down. Who's ready to rumble? Let's count it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Gabby, you're going to have quite the box. 
Well, let me just tell you. I think you got it, girly. You got it. So I think that we went over. I am going to reshow one thing. I sure can. Let me write that down before I forget it. Hopefully I have her information. You got it. Um, I did have these fun things up here. I showed them first at my sale and some of you may have missed it. <laughs> um, they are these vintage pocket box candy zoos. I think these are probably, gosh, I should have looked up the year. I don't know. They're plastic. So maybe 70s or older, I would guess on these. They were five cents. So maybe they are 50s. I don't know. Um, but I did buy these from a seller on Instagram. She had a collection of these and you might have seen these on there. I do have three available of each animal. I have the deer. And these open up. You could put um, pills in there, mints, whatever you want, and put them in your, in your purse. So I have three of the deer. I have three of the um, parrot, cockatiel, I guess. And I have three of the poodles available. And those are $6 each if there's any interest in those. I, I'm going to put one in my purse and put mints in it. Um, just a fun little thing, I guess. Okay, thank you, Gabby, if you could, just to be sure. But I think we got through everything, unless anybody wants to see any of the add-ons we have, um, the bingo cards or anything like that. But other than that, I think we got through everything. Anybody want to see anything else before we call it a day? Just let me know. Just let me know. Doesn't look like it. So I guess we will call it a night. Um, if you're watching back and you saw something that didn't sell, email me. My email is on the screen there. Sweet Adeline at AOL.com. Yes, thank you for coming, Skunky Chunk. I got a bunch of skunks behind me. I'm drawing the little skunk statues. I've got those two, the skunk bank, and the, the skunk family back there. I don't know if you spotted those, but um, love it. I appreciate you guys hanging out with us tonight. My goodness. Um, we're here every Thursday, so stop on by Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Um, we got lots of goodies. If you're looking for something, just let me know. Thank you all for coming. You all take care, and I hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend, and stay safe. Okay? Bye, everyone. Aww. Bye.